Hello, everybody. I'm about ready to get started. Hope you're all doing well today. Let's take a look at the, the latest points. I think there was a very sudden increase, literally, right as we're about to start streaming. So as of right now, August Atrocity number two is at 8,000 points. Tower is off by one run. Yeah. It's like could be down. But that was the last update I got. Welcome, Techie Home. So I think from that standpoint, tower is close, seabed is close, atrocity is not close. There's only two quests left that uh, go towards the total. So we'll probably end up doing a bit of... a little bit of everything just to get it up there. Hope you're doing well, Tekio. I'm still on the fence as to what ID to run for the first August atrocity one. I do want to try it a few times. I'm not saying we're going to grind it, like, 300 points, but at some point I want to touch it. So why don't we go a little bit in order today? Let me boot in. So if there's people around, I'm thinking we just get that last point in tower, no matter what. I mean, that is so sad. It's 79999. It's only off by one point. So I'm just going to switch characters here. But we have to wait for people to come in, so I'm not sure who else is here. But please let me know. Thinking we'll do a little bit of that, and I want to do some seabed. Because that is something we haven't really done so far in this run. See people just kind of in the lobby spinning. I mean, in theory, I could try to solo one of these, but I prefer not to. Hmm. It's, I actually think the tower one was fine. I definitely liked it over the alternatives. Actually, let me do one thing before I do this. Let's see bank four. Do we just have to do one run in tower and then it's done, presumably? I think we could do that. I don't think that's a tall ask. Plus, as I said before, people are looking for V502. So at least there's like something to go for that most people will be generically looking for, regardless of who they are playing as. Seabed will probably be blue ID if we get to that. We're not going to grind it like all session, but I would like to at least say <laughs> that we boosted it a bit. Interesting number of people in the lobby. I don't normally see this many people in block two. I'll just go get my uh, bringer's rifle out. And let us know, Techium, if you wanted to hop in on some runs. Or if you're feeling sea bedded out, that's fine. We're gonna start with one tower run just to get it the way rest of the way there. Thank you, RJ Chaos, for the good luck. I mean in theory we could do it with just two people. I'd prefer not to. It literally just needs one more clear. If there's any brave souls that would adventure into tower. Honestly, that quest was really not that bad. We've played much worse tower quests on stream before. This is like a I would be willing to play it again level. That game is down. Sure thing. But I don't think it was that bad. It's mostly just remembering it's like two enemies in the first room. So like front front. Then there's one in the back. So you have to turn around, and then when the turnaround happens, uh, the force or somebody else should do a small fireball to stop the charge. Like, 
There's just like a couple little things in the quest to make it a little more clean. And I don't, I don't think it's like too crazy. Like we were talking before, I think it's like we could get away without a cast in this quest. I don't feel that way about a lot of them. No worries, take your time in Pyramid. We'll do a couple gambles while we wait. There we go, I got my dime back. So we'll be in block two. Welcome, welcome. I'm assuming that is Tekium. Eden does not look like a familiar character to me. Oh, that was a 50 hit. We'll do a couple more gambles and we'll get started. The way I view it is even if someone were to literally beat us to the punch here, it's still going to need points anyway for 9,000, right? Like, so we might as well do like two to three of these and then reassess the situation afterwards. I think it just kind of makes sense. If there's any hunts you want to do, Tekium, let me know. Sounds like you've been holding down the fort with the seabed. And in my defense, I did level my funeral doing seabed. <laughs> it was very boring. I was like, so solo seabed with funeral was terrible. Don't do it. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, man, I just can't even hit the robots. I need red rings so bad. Like, 20% accuracy, please. So that, that was a struggle, for sure. I love that I didn't even care, care about Delbeater or Morphos. It was just like, I can't hit Sinnoh. <laughs> it's like... I, I can only maybe hit him sometimes with my normal. This is so bad. Rip last swan. Not enough accuracy. Leveling, like, six characters from 8 to 150 this event. Makes sense. We'll probably do one towards probably next weekend. I'm not really looking to make many more characters. You might have seen I have uh, four solid character banks and then another character bank with three, I think. A lot of characters. Then we have our poor people holding in all the materials <laughs> that see bank gate. Yeah, I, I eventually want to try to make a couple more rangers, but for now we had one of every character. Now that uh, the S parts is basically going to be freed up, I'd be more willing to try another Hue cast. It's all over. Kaboom. Okay, looks like it might be us three. I don't see anybody else here yet. But we're just gonna do some V502 tower to start things off. So we're gonna say last call for anybody that wants to hop in. Oh, I got 502 bad gateway. Rip. Well, we already know what was needed for the run, so that's fine. You know, their site has been going down a lot. No fr no free strap is tough. Uh, it'll be fine. Wow, there are so many Twitch bots. It's like crazy. I was gonna say, have fun, Calvisham. There's people for you to ban. Seriously, we're getting like five to six like every stream now. Remember when we went like seven months without seeing one? Alright, so we're gonna play on the left hand side. Thank you, Kelvishon. Deliver the band hammer. Huh? What? Uh oh. Is their server feeling okay? Hello? What was that? What the what was that? 
that? Hello? Affinia? Your enemy spawns were sleeping. What was that? Legit, like, went in full circles. Do we have to, like, specifically... Is it, like, that picky with the spawn? Like, do we have to be, like, literally dead center to spawn it? That's insane. Why would you leave it like that? Well, that threw off the groove. Okay, I'm gonna put a little Gafoey out. No worries. Nice level up. Oh, I got lasered. My bad. Okay, let's rebuff, regroup. Yeah, as a reminder, if you're in the middle, you will get bullied by Ilgil. Come on, demons. I need you to proc. Thank you. Alright, I'll face tank the Epsilons. I should be fine with that. No worries. I was gonna say, have fun, Calvisham. There were so many bots. You could just go back in the auto ban messages. You could ban literally like 20 people, no joke. There were so many bots, Calvisham, this week. Like, it's insane how many there were. Oh, I got the double freeze. Look how sick that is. Sure. Everybody's gotta start somewhere with experience. More than welcome to hop in the next one showdown. We're gonna do a few of these, regardless of points. And we'll maybe transition over to Seabed and try other quests afterwards. Once again, I don't wanna I don't wanna bore people by just doing one quest 20 million times, but I feel like it's good to at least do three or four. Say we get like a good run in. And these quests tend to be faster. Although with just three people, it is going to take a while, admittedly. This one will take a while. Yeah, it's crazy, Calvisham. If you if you go back in the moderator view, I'm sure we have like 30 unbanned people. And then if you want Calvisham for the extra mile, you could report the account. <laughs> I know I usually do that, but I, I've I've been slacking this one or this week. Excuse me. I was slightly too close. My apologies. Oops, I got body reading chat, my bad. I got some hell EQ. Don't know what that means. Oh, equipment. Um... You don't really need it. I'm <laughs> frocast. That Newman female again. It's good for Seabed. You don't really need it here. Most things just need demons, freeze, freeze traps. But we'll stay back here. So just a reminder, there's going to be a lot of stuff where I'm at. And then if you're on the opposite side, there's a Delily. So it's going to be a little tricky dealing with it with only three people. I'm going to try my best to do maybe like a Razan to hit multiples. And then I'm going to try to get a Glide Divine out early for the team. So again, this is just more of a problem. We're just missing a damage dealer. I'm going to debuff here. And then I'm going to slow them down a little bit. Hello? It... Do I not... Did I run out of moon atomizers? My apologies, team. I'm going to go buy... I'm going to go buy some. I'm going to put a warp here. I didn't realize I ran out. Give me a second. I went to go revive, and I was like, wait a minute. My apologies. That was sloppy on my part. I had three Muno... I did revive somebody earlier in my defense, and then I went to use it again, and I was like, what the heck? My bad. I might have just had three. So yeah, it's a little rough just because, like, 
We, we don't need four damage sources. We need four people hitting things, I think is more accurate. So that's going to be a little bit of a climb, but we're going to earn it, chat. I'm going to take a walk. I'm going to leave my warp up for other players. It should go smoother next time. We just need, like, as I said before, there are four targets and only three players, so there's a disparity. We can't just pick a target, unfortunately. I'm going to move my Ryuker here. Let's see if this does a little better. I think I can stun lock as long as I could get unarmed. And okay, we're gonna move up the Ryuker again. I was gonna say Calvishim's like I've never banned so many people before. What do I do? Okay, I'm gonna put it okay, now I'm gonna move the telepipe here. Let's go for a stun lock. Did get a freeze. Nice. I like the chip. I'm keeping him busy. Now I could de now I could debuff him. I'm like, by all means, swing at me. I don't care. Okay, let's get some damage on him now. There we go. A little bit of a hiccup, but we're back on track. Yeah, I would say the free strap is really just gonna hurt us on the Ilgil room. I don't think I super care about him on the way there. The the quadruple Ilgil is gonna be nasty. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to be the resident freeze trap. I'm gonna be spamming Robarda to make up for it. It won't be perfect, but it'll be something. Uh oh. Back up a little bit. There we go. These. Wait for the team to group up a little more. So it'll be two in front, and then it'll be a diagonal split. So somebody will have to look in the front, somebody will have to look in the back. I'll hit both, so you have time to reorient. Then after this, I think it's two in the back, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna try to guide us through here, so there should be like two blue ones here. Yeah, we're just gonna say no to this. I don't think so. That wasn't too bad. Right, so we know it's just going to be four lilies into nothing really threatening. Honestly, I should be able to freeze lock everything for the team. This is why it's important to at least have somebody with Rivarda. But we, we can make do with this. I can slow them down a little. Now I can debuff them so the team can finish off. Got the freeze in. Nice. I believe it'll eventually be two tail beaters at the front, but I think there's one more wave in between. I'm gonna put a little safety Gufoe out, just to slow them down, just in case. I stopped the Ilgil from dashing. Ilgil locked down. There we go. Locked him down nice and tight. Just be careful, I think it's double tail beater in the front. Yeah, they don't really charge to hit you, but they charge here, which is kind of annoying. On demons, there we go. <laughs> just a few bands, Calvisham. I just see the wall. Thank you, Calvisham. Purge them forever, Calvisham. So we'll put a little safety telepipe here so we don't have to do the walk of shame. Yeah, I was getting demon trolled as well. So... Wish me luck, I'm gonna be in the center. If, if you don't have health, run away. You will probably die. Uh, you're 1344, you should always survive. Eden, Eden, however, no way. Unless you have like the most miraculous fire resistance of all time, no way. All right, so just be careful because in the middle is gonna be the a lot of lilies. I'll, I'll take their heat. I'll stall for the team. 
I'm gonna do slightly spaced Robarda. And then after this, it's I think on two, three sides, which is kind of annoying. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna Resond. So I can act as like a freeze trap. So these guys I'm not really worried about. I'm more worried about the Ilgil, so I'm gonna need a lot of help in like two seconds. It'll be after this wave, I think they'll appear. I went to go debuff and I got bodied, my bad. Debuff time. So I think it's after this it's quadruple Ilgil. So I'm gonna spam Rivarda. So if you stand away from the center, I think you should be fine. And even if it's not, I think it's enemies towards the sides either way. No, it's quadruple. Okay, so I'm gonna slow them down. There we go. I'm putting in the work. Come on, Rivarda. Let's go, Rivarda. <laughs> Okay, we got through one of the hard waves. We're good. We're not we're not out completely. We have one more Ilgil wave, but once we're through that, I think it's over. So again, it's just all about a little bit of Oh gosh, I've got crit. I got crit. Rest in peace. Yeah, sadly I just I can't just survive the good bulls. I tried. There's like one more problem wave here, but I have resigned. So take your time. There we go. See, that wasn't too bad. Now, there's there should be Ilgil here. This is the problem wave. I'm going to freeze. So I've frozen a few of them. We're going to revive Eden. You might be on your own for buffs, to be honest. I got I to gotta take care of Epsilon. All right. I'll rebuff you as soon as we're done with Epsilon. Get a debuff going. Nicely done. I'm gonna put out a safety Kafoe. There we go. Delbeater denied. I've debuffed them. So they should be a little more manageable. Yeah, see if see if nobody knows when the Delbeater is coming, that's also a problem. Like th this wave is actually legitimately a problem if we don't know it's coming. So at least you know I got my debuffs on and you know I can slow them down here a little bit. I can sunlock the miracle. I am slowly chipping him out. Oh, I actually killed Gibbles with Razan, though that's actually shameful. It's not the button I meant to press. I'm in trouble. I need some help. I'm dead. That's okay. I died for the team. <laughs> it's like, listen, listen, if the Ilgils fight me, I'll go, like, mission accomplished, honestly. I, I could not ask for a better outcome than to have the stupid enemy waste their time with me. I'm like, I'm the least threatening thing here after I do my debuffs. I don't care. Also, where are my invincibility triggers for Magblast, by the way? I'm gonna die. Uh... I think I got the revive. Okay. I'm gonna safety heal. Nice. Revive Eden. So I think once we get a fourth person, we'll have exactly what we need to lock down two of the waves we were struggling with earlier. We don't even need like a ton of damage. The run's over. So it's like three minutes longer than normal. And that was with us dying, so. It sh that shouldn't really happen again. That was definitely a big oops. I forgot to restock Moon Atomizers. So I'm I'm to blame for at least a minute of that. <laughs> Straight up. So let me go uh, restock Moons this time. And next one will be much smoother. I think we'll be closer to... I don't think we'll get to like 10 minutes unless we have like a truly endgame party. But probably like 11 to 12 would be a reasonable estimate. Which, given that it's tower, I'll take that. Like, the people clearing in eight minutes are, like, sphered people. Let's be real. I guess this bans, I swear I didn't do nothing. Yeah, Calvishim went on a banning spree. There we go. We can officially say it was at 7999. It's technically at 8000 with that handed. So we're going to do it again. So Chonown, if you want to join in, we will appreciate any damage or targeting that you could do.
Can I try to reload their site? Oh, their site's back up. There are 8,005 points in tower now. And then I think we'll do a little bit of seabed after two more runs. Ooh, a cast. Suddenly level 200. Interesting. Oh, level 200 is left. I guess it's impossible. I'm always on everyone's bad side. Oh no. I was like, did I not pay attention and... You're gonna pass on tower? Oh, okay. So we just need one more person. Level 105 shouldn't be in there. It's it's hard, but I think we were doing okay, honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna do at least two more tower and then we can go into seabed. Yeah, because I definitely want to do another tower. I don't want to go straight into seabed. So in the meantime, would somebody like to fill in the fourth slot? Just need anybody targeting. We're just going to do two more tower runs and move on to seabed probably. Then after that, we'll see. I just need more targets, it's true. We just need more bodies. I don't even care what your gear is, to be honest. We'll wait a little bit more. I'm gonna say final call for more runs. Seeing if there's anything I could change here. Not really. Alright, well, I'll get started. I don't see anybody else hopping in. Oops. Must have went through the wrong door. Okay. Just remember, it's two waves first, then turn around for the final wave. I'll interrupt the Dell Beaters. Oh, now it wants to spawn, okay. Whatever. There we go, nice and simple. They're going to be behind us, so I'm going to preemptively face. I'm going to debuff into a targeting spell. I'm going to go ahead and put out a little Gafoe for the team so they don't die. There we go. Friendship. No worries, Dango. Oh, so close to killing. Okay, so let's move a little further forward, punish the Ilgil with some Rebarda. Perfect. Love to see it. Oh. Wow, really? Oh my gosh, Chad. The run finally paid off for me. I got something. Is the dry streak over? On oh, that classic RNG manipulation. Okay, let me rebuff. We'll, I'll put a safety telepipe here. Just in case. Okay, so that's only my second ever V502 that I've ever found. And I'll take it. This character's putting in the work. I'm like, listen, he's demoning. I'm on point with Rebarda. I'm doing damage. I sometimes get kills, despite being really, really under-equipped. 
Nice. Double freeze from the team. Ranger lockdown is real. Oh, this is going so smooth. I don't even care. I don't even care if he kills me. I don't even care. See, it's just like, oh, we just have that third person. Or just the fourth person. Like, when we're only missing by 200, we need, like, the littlest of damage, chat. If you want to see what I'm talking about, that right there would not happen with the fourth person. But it's okay. We can bully him. Fortunately, these waves aren't too bad. Oh, just be careful. I can't hit all of them. Probably go in the middle here to try to do better. Right, let's heal up everybody. Save them some items. Got a freeze going. That's fine. One day my mag will trigger. Although I think my synchro is now completely shot. Rip synchro. I want to get out of the center. Some debuffs. Yeah, Demon Mech Gun, definitely helpful here. Yeah, like, see, it's weird that the Murder Flowers are, like, the least threatening thing in this area. I'm just like, oh, whatever. It's not Ilgil. I don't care. <laughs> it's like, whatever. Stupid Ilgil and your ridiculous defense. Trying to prove to me that you're in a skating championship. As long as we stay to the side here, that looked pretty clean. Alright, so what I'm gonna do this time... I'm going to spam Razond after... Not this next wave, but the one after it. Because we're gonna be surrounded. It's just Gaigui's on this one, but just be warned. There's gonna be two up the ramp and two near me. I'm gonna need somebody helping me big time when it comes to it. I, I can debuff them if I get a chance. Oh, wow, look at the pretty butterfly. Oh, welcome, Chris. We're doing three-man tower. Let's go. Okay, get ready. I'm gonna slow them down. Ooh, see, there we go. A little bit of preparation, and look how smooth that went. Clearly, I've lost my mind. I think we're doing pretty well. I I expect to get one shot randomly, but, you know, that's because we're down a person. But that was, like, butter smooth. I was a little worried I dropped on the blue murder flower, but I had a feeling it was just a desync issue, and it was, so... We're all good. gonna say Chris if you want to join in more than welcome I mean, if we could do it with three man we could do it with four man I'm just saying Can I seriously not debuff them we even got a v502 we were rewarded still waking up no worries we're gonna be some time You've checked them for boxes. Okay, so remember, it's going to be two in front. Then it's going to be a stagger split. So I need somebody in the front and one in the back. And then they're going to be in the middle in the back after that. So just get ready. I'm going to stun both of them. I can stall as long as I need to. Okay, there we go. Alright, and then it's about middle and back. So just get ready for that. I'm going to try to get a quick debuff in. There we go. There we go. That wasn't too bad. This one will be like Quadra Lilies in front. It'll slowly go towards the back. I don't have anything to worry about here. I'll heal the team up a little bit. Ooh. I'll slow them down. Oh, I got the refreeze. 
where Frozen Shooter did. It was close. Couldn't tell. Six suddenly stopped dramatically. So you can wait with bated anticipation whether or not we get murdered. I'm going to put out a little safety Kapoe. Should slow them down from charging. Nice. Got the freeze. Got absolutely bodied. Come on, demons. We know eventually it's going to be double Del Beater in the front. So we're not too worried about that. Oops. Bad aim. I'm going to put out a little Gafoe to slow them down. You know what? I can finish them. If they're that demons, even I could kill them. There we go. Look at that. It just requires demons behaving itself, and we're all good. I'm going to reapply buffs. So just be careful. I'm going to be in the center. I don't advise you join me in the center. Uh, it's not this Epsilon, but the next Epsilon, there'll be a Del Beater afterwards. If you don't know, just, I'll, I'll try to remember to say group. Oh, I got invincibility, finally. Thanks, Sato. It took you 20 years, but you got there eventually. Alright, so I'm gonna stand in the center. I'm gonna freeze them. Eba, freeze. I'm gonna say he's called Static Thick, but right now I'm Mr. Freeze. I'm like, listen, I don't want them doing anything. Let's just get out of here. Targeting, please. He sink, please. I would like to hit him. I'll put out a safety Kapoe. We have to do in slow and steady. I'm okay with this. Listen. I just want to make sure that. Oh, I got run over. Just want to make sure that they get stunned. That's all. So just be careful after this wave. There's going to be a lot of danger. Oh, you actually gave me invincibility. Oh. Oh, where was this in the other one? All right, chat. Where where was my Sato invincibility trigger? The like million times I got hit by this. Whatever. I don't know what its base chance was other than garbage. Okay, I'm gonna put out a safety Gafoe. Ooh, good freeze trap. Appreciate. Ooh, and the paralysis? Oh, I'm on fire today, chat. Doing well. Respect that paralysis. Yeah, S Sato's just going, Wee! Spin, spin! My odor is getting destroyed. <laughs> He's face tanking everything. So we only have one more problem we have to look out for. I'm going to just do this to slow them down a little bit. I think I hit them with Brisson. Yeah, there we go. I should speed it up a little. So, oh, so after this one should be the uh, Del Beater, just to warn you. I think I said second one. I meant the third one. I'm going to try to slow them down. Chat's on fire. Good job, chat. You're killing them so fast. I could not ask for more in a three-man team, to be honest with you. Like, you you guys are hard carrying right now. Alright, so I'm gonna put out a little safety Gafoe. Oh. That way they're somewhat close to each other. Oh, I killed them with Brazond. I could just straight bully Miracle. Yeah! There we go. I straight bullied. Okay, I'm slowing them down a little bit with Brazons to crowd control them. Good job, chat. Good recovery on that. I like that. 
Ilgil got away, but did not matter. We're gonna go for a debuff here. Come on, Sato, give me invincibility, please. I'm gonna try to freeze them if they're near me. Ooh, I got comboed. There's nothing I could do about that. There's legitimately nothing I could do about that. That did, like, 1,400 damage. I, I wouldn't even have survived that as, like, max level. Like, that was insane how much damage I took there. Unfortunate. All right, these, these Daigwees need to go. Oh, you need to kill them. Oh, there we go. Keep up, heal, heal again. I'm getting hit by them over and over. Okay, let's go. Can I kill Epsilon? Nope. I'm getting bullied. Don't think I can finish it. Okay, chat might finish? Oh, no, wait, hold on. I think I got it. There we go. Yeah, that final wave, the Gaigwees were bullying a little bit. A Disco, Brave Man. What? Yeah, I think we did fine up until that final wave. That final wave was just oof. I was just getting repeatedly slammed by the uh, Gaigwees over and over, even though I wasn't attacking. It was kind of brutal. But anyway, um, I guess I can eat a dive fluid for now to pick up an HP material. But hey, we got there. Oh, I actually had more space than I thought. My bad. I didn't realize I just capped the other thing. Uh, no worries. It happens. <laughs> I was just getting repeatedly hit. I'm like, what's happening? I was getting hit on my screen by both. Kind of brutal. But hey, V502. Resistance paid off. Okay, so we're gonna restock. If you wanna hop in, Chris. We just need some damage. You can technically bring in whoever you want, but if you just wanna raw cast it, I'm not gonna complain. Welcome, Murphy. It's tower, raw cast is the only option. I think Hugh cast is also pretty good, to be honest. But yeah, raw cast makes more sense with the uh, frozen shooter. Like, sometimes you just really want to indebt into something. Sure, we'll give you a couple minutes, Chris. <laughs> Rock test is the only option. I mean, traps are good. Okay, we got another V502. How are we doing in terms of share bank items? Do I need to move anything? There's something he should have full time. Um, really? I guess I could give him the Striker of Chow if I need to. Yeah, the Galwind I haven't used on stream yet. I feel bad. I have been using it, it's just not on stream. I already have a Glide Divine in here, so that should be fine. Okay. Anything fun in the weapon store? 45 hit pillar, there you go. So we'll do a couple of these. We'll humor Chris with a Sky ID, Seal J Sword. Nonsense, briefly. I think he's been looking for those. Uh, let's see. There's always a chance for my computer to crash, damn. It is kind of sad, though, that even with the event quest here, 
it's still better just to do Phantasmal World for resets. So we'll do... I guess since Chris is joining, we'll do at least two. Then we'll just do some cheesy PW4 resets, and then we'll maybe go to Seabed. We're gonna keep an eye on the points. Did we put Seabed at 8,008? We did it, chat. Honestly, the other ones are really not that far away at this point either. I think people are starting to log in. So yeah, I just gotta keep giving this thing dimates. Eventually, I won't need this. I'm still 16 accuracy away from cap, which is pretty far. But yeah, I like having this mag on because, like, if I'm just gonna be demoning anyway, my ATP isn't, like, hyper important. It's more important I free up a slot for Smart Link. Later on, of course, we're gonna switch to, like, a more conventional mag. You always forget just how cursed you new world mags are. They're they're something. If it, whenever we're talking about why Hugh world is not really that fun to play, and I still am kind of struggling to have fun to play with her at level 180, it's mags like this that are required that make it struggle. Where you just need so many stats. It's just so mediocre. Like the fact that she like barely clears Hugh cast while leveling is kind of insane. Her minimum accuracy should have been way higher. So that way you can have, like, a real mag. Quote unquote. Can you imagine if it's, you could have 80 decks instead? What 20 more power would do while leveling? Or even just some extra mind so you can use Cleo. Oh well. Anyway, we got damage here, so this should go more or less fine. Max staff plate is 5, 176, 19 with two add-ups and Centurion. Yeah. The max stat is insane. She's like so under... understated per level. It's kind of crazy. So as a reminder, there's going to be one more wave after this and make sure to turn around because I think Chris might have missed the earlier stuff. I'm just going to repeat it. There's going to be one more wave in front of us. Just make sure to turn around. And then after that, I will Gafoey, and as long as you're not past me, you should be fine. Yeah, I wonder if they were supposed to have way more materials. I su there we go. I grouped him up. There you go. I can't give you more than that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I have invincibility. I almost thought I got another rare. Hold on. There we go. I believe in you, team. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, I was always thinking they were going to have 200. Like, I always thought it was going to be human. Like, humans were 250. They had 200, and then Cass would have had uh, 150. And that also would have fixed them a lot. Because then it's like, oh, I can actually reasonably hit max stats now. So, angry robot says no.
Yeah, I wonder why they decided to kind of do that. The way that it's implemented now. Oh, that is a super dead Gibbles. Come on, demons. Demons, please. B502 run, something like that. There's also Psycho Wand and technically Disco Brave Man, but mostly B502. Kill the Lily. I did it. I like that Demons puts them in kill range. But Zalora here. Ooh, that was such a fast cleanup. So I can stunlock all of them with Rafoe, which I think is kind of neat. I, li I like that I can do that. Well, I'm not dead, but I'm, I'm so, so host. I just saw one of my V5-2s and I special need special to my needle. Uh, I I would just keep them. Why wouldn't you want to? Are you not planning on making another character? to say Burfi if you were if you were that down bad for a special uh you want to work out a deal Murphy let's let's talk after I'm out of this room <laughs> I can quote unquote loan you them I just give you whatever you need, and then you just pay me back at some point. I'm not looking to do anything with my PDs at the moment. Rather than you give up something that's kind of annoying to get later. Alright, so we're mostly out of the way. What's the interest rate on that loan? Uh, not very high. It depends. If he tells me how much he actually needs, I'll make a decision based off of that. It's gonna be like for every ten or whatever, I might ask for one PD back. For every fifteen, I don't know how many he needs though. If he's like sixty off, I'll think about it. I might lower. I'm not in like a rush to use mine, as I said before. I'm sitting on like 400 PDs. I don't really care. I just prefer not to like just straight up give it away. 12 ish. Okay. I mean, if you just want 12, just pay me back 13. How's that? I don't have a due date for it. <laughs> we'll we'll say by end of year. Goodbye, ill gills. Get wrecked. Out of here. Yeah, keep your gold badges for other things. Because Hell Needle's a pretty big upgrade. Like, that's gonna speed up your ability to get PDs. But then if you're, like, trying to use gold badges to get, like, photon spheres or whatever, then you're just, like... You're, you're kind of just kind of exchanging between the two, whereas I don't really care. There we go. Nice freeze. Yeah, just double check, Murphy. Let me know the total. We'll work something out. Let me reapply buffs. Okay, so just be careful. I'm going to be in the middle. Be anywhere other than the middle. I'll let you know when I need you near me. But essentially, I'm going to get swarmed after every Epsilon by something. So after this, I'm going to get surrounded by Delilies. And then I just need you somewhat close. Because there's going to be occasionally waves. Oh. Ooh, the other team's kind of far from me. I didn't realize they didn't get buffed. That's not good. Uh, you guys have to come to me at some point. Because I need to buff you. I can. I think I can leave the circle briefly. Okay, there we go. Fine. 
after this, just kind of split on the sides, and you should be mostly fine. And I'll, I'll let you know when I need help. It'll be in a couple waves I'll need help. Uh, game, please. I think I ran out of one of my fluids. That was awkward. I went to go use the cheaper one. I got punished for it. So after this wave, I'm going to need you sort of close, but not in the center of the circle. If that makes sense. So the third one will be Del Beaters, and, that and at that time I'll need you, need you. I just need you close enough to potentially freeze trap something near me, but not like where I'm physically standing. If that makes sense. I'm gonna need assistance. Thank you, thank you. Uh, what, we're almost through all the problem waves. We're doing well. Bye. Right. Then let's say, give me 12 back at some point. Probably by December. If you get it before then, cool. So there's gonna they're gonna be on opposite sides, which is fine. Just be careful. There's a couple illgills here. Let's try to freeze them for the team. Got knocked down. Good luck, team. I'm slowly chipping them out. <laughs> it is working. Just very slow. So come near me. Come near me once this thing dies. Just run towards me. I know there's a stream delay. That's why I said it. Run towards me. There we go. That's not the debuff I wanted, but that's fine. It'll work. Okay. Now you can flee. <laughs> Hide on your designated side and you should be fine. Yeah, that, that Del Beater wave is very rude when you don't know it's there. Cause you're like, oh, it's just gonna be Ilgo, and it's like, Ehh! run over. <laughs> Murphy, remember that one quest? What was that quest called? Okay. What was that quest called where we were doing the, um... Uh... We, we were doing, like, laps, and then, like, each of the areas, we kind of, like, split into teams, and it was kind of cool. And then the Del Beater at every hallway. <laughs> that one quest, I got so disappointed. The quest was so bad. It's a shame because I think the other quests were fun. Just that one was gross. My, yeah, my, it, it might have been Penumbra Surge. Gosh, please stop cursing me. Ah. Uh. Number five, thank you. Ooh, a 45 hit Disco Brave Man. That's actually decent. Okay. Okay, I think that's on par with the ones I'm using currently. Okay. I mean, this is probably an upgrade for one of my casts. I'm not using 50s on any character. Did it roll with anything interesting? Machine A Beast. I mean, Cat sees that I use this all the time on uh, or Volt Up. I don't know if I'm a fan of A Beast there. I would have liked 15% on Dark, to be honest with you, but whatever. So yeah, we cleared in under 11 minutes. That's totally fine. So we'll do one last one and we'll move on to a different area. Or, or we'll actually, we'll move on, but we're going to do a very quick gimmicky EW4 three times, which should take like 10 minutes total. <laughs> I'm going to give Chris his CLJ sword chances. I know he's been looking for it. The run is literally do like, kill seven targets, reset. <laughs> so it, it should not take very long to do, I promise you.
Okay. So that, that that's like the first like like actually really solid upgrade that I have. I think this is gonna be used potentially on my Humar or my uh, Huka Seal. Like I will actively use it. It's good enough for me to do it. Cause I think my other one's a 35 or a 40 hitter. I don't think I have another 45. There we go. It's getting paid off a little bit. So we'll do one last one. And then we're gonna do, we'll say three really gimmicky things before we move on. And that way, chat, you can say you helped get Tower across the finish line. How are the other things looking at? Seabed needs 120 runs. August Atrocity needs about 80. You do the multiplier thing. As I said before, I'll probably try a couple of Atrocity ones. I don't know if we'll, like, grind it, but at least we'll say we put points towards it. Also, I love that my hips are so thick, my hands clip into my sides. Right, chat? Just hand goes straight through the pants. Even from the front, he's clipping through. Jeez. <laughs> Hands in pockets. Yeah, you're right. So yeah, the tower's gone decent. Like, we were getting, like, 10-minute runs earlier, so I'm, I'm happy with this. I will definitely say the demon mech gun is now... Now that I'm looking for it, it's very noticeable. I'm noticing certain epsilons getting down to, like, 6 health. Almost <laughs> instantly. I'm like, you know, I'm landing some demons, but not that many demons. So after this run... I'm going to make a game potentially for Murphy to give him, I think he said 12. Whatever Murphy needs. That way you can get going. Hold love handles for a reason. There you go. There you go, Murphy. 10 minutes, I'll, I'll make a game. And then we'll do some cheesy PW4 afterwards. Do, do, do. Oh, look, he's trying. Now perish. <laughs> Remember, next one will be behind us. And then I'm going to stop a Del Beater that charges down the hill. Honestly, like, as long as you know where the Del Beaters are, this quest is actually runnable. I don't know if I'm going to go as far as to say fun. I think that's a little... That, that's, a, that's a little bit of a stretch, but... <laughs> I'd say that at least... I would be willing to run it. That'd be a correct statement. Get rid of these. See, I can slow them down here as well. So brutal. Not detestable. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna have to have like a new rating system explicitly for episode two. Hot garbage needs to be on that list for sure. Demon procs. Oh. Love when everything comes together. Is that a Salor 30? Hold on, I should go back for that. Where is that? A true episode 2 experience. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. What If somebody were to tell me that, I'd be like, what does that mean? It dies? <laughs> that's, that, that's true. Just just wake, wake up, die. Yeah, that's fair. That, that's very episode 2. Like, oh, <laughs> did you venture outside? Gentle wind blows, you perish. <laughs> the double to shell quest that must not be episode two. Episode two dot mp4, oh no. Yeah, I think we did like a really good recovery. Uh, again, I'm gonna I'm gonna praise chat because chat did a lot of uh, adjustments based off of the three man party. Like these are unconventional conditions you would find yourself in. Most of the time, you would never run a three man tower, but I think the team did very well. So shout out to the team. Stupid Del Lily. It's just a video of me dying to the insta-kills. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, 
There we go. I don't think it was Phantasmal World 3. If you're talking about before, it was a series. I think it was Penumbral Surge. Because we had one in each area, and that one was such hot trash. I, I remember it because it went in the video review. I was like, well, they're almost all good. <laughs> I pretty much did something similar to that. I was like so disappointed. It was like shock silence when we went to see bed. Like just absolutely silence. Yeah. Parameter is saying it's Penumbral Surge. I would believe it would be five. Right, I'm going to try not to die here. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I got my Zalor out. That's all you can ask for. Helped kill an Ilgil. Killed the Miracle. Okay, with four people, we got the shutdown. Love to see it. I remember I crashed there. Oh, true. Dumbfounded silence. Very accurate. Yeah, th don't get me wrong. There were a lot of bad Episode 2 quests. This, that one in particular stands out as being, like, so terrible that it's funny. Like, somebody did a custom quest like that. Like, why? They could have done anything. And we know they could do fun quests because we played the other ones. Like, Penumbral Surge 1, and then I think it was 4, where you did the laps around CCA. I had a lot of fun with those. I actually like those genuinely as quests. But then you play, like you know, the Great Mine Offensive or whatever the heck it is in Episode 1. That's that's what I was reminded of playing the other one. Okay, so remember, it's going to be two in front, and then they're going to be split. So we need somebody looking front, somebody looking back, and then it's going to be middle back. So I can slow them down a little bit, but I'm going to need help with one of them. There we go. And then get ready for middle back towards the entrance. Nice double freeze. That demon mech. I was like, oh boy. Goodbye. Demon mech is so good. Yeah, two is space. Three was... I was going to say jungle. I really like 1 and 4. I think 3 went like on a little too long. It was just kind of generic. There wasn't anything like wrong with it per se, but it was definitely not as impressive to me as like the pacing of how they put the pieces together for 1. And I think even 6 was fine. I don't remember 6 being atrocious garbage. Unless it was the one where we were playing peekaboo in the corridors. I remember there's one where you're like just endlessly going through stupid walls. If it was that one, then yeah, I didn't like that one. Yeah, I think I think six was fun. Okay, so that's just Sapa from charging. Nice, landed the demon. Murdered him. Killing the team. is out of my buff range. I think I know who. There we go. This is like a film in the corner. Nothing can reach me. He's kind of right. Nothing did really reach him. Rika's Claw. Nice. I'm gonna stand still and regen TP. On invincibility proc. Save a little bit of TP here. Basically get my Resta back. Ultra dead. Yeah, I think the rule of thumb is after an Epsilon, I will probably need assistance. I'll just try to remind you when I physically need you in the center. So I think that's a good way of keeping track of where the bad waves are. Otherwise, if the team splits up, they should be fine. There we go, I contributed.
So just remember, after this wave, I'm gonna need some freeze traps. Oh, I was gonna say, does somebody have a S rank with a spread or something? Because that was very fast damage if that wasn't. Would have been in parameter. Demon Needle. Yeah, that makes sense. I was like, that was too fast. That, that was too fast for normal. I appreciate it though. I want them off me. So just reminder, just be careful with the ill gills. I tried to demon a few. I got one killed. Ouch. Nice paralysis. Like to see it. And remember, after this one, I need you all to come real close. So don't go super far from me. Although I don't like the Epsilon is in the corner. That's actually kind of a problem. Uh, well, this will be interesting. Run towards me. There we go. That is a super dead double beater. Okay, now you can flee. <laughs> go to the four corners of the earth. Goodbye, random enemy. Oh, I got bonked. Oh, somebody's not taking care of the miracle. That's so sad. Rebuff time. We're almost done at least. Oh boy. Leave me alone. Yeah. This is back up. I'm gonna buff him. We're almost done. We're getting real close. We have one last wave, I think. Here it is. The final wave. Good luck, team. killed one. I killed two. Nice. Worst putting in the work. This terrible, terrible mag. Get debuffed. Perish. Okay. So there you go. You, you got through tower. Okay, so we'll do some kind of jokey runs. I don't think we need a force. We're just gonna kill like one ill gill and some gibbles. So we'll do three very quick PW fours and we'll move on to seabed. Ooh, my audio sounds weird. Hopefully it sounds okay on the stream. One second, I'm gonna unplug my headset. Anyway. So I'm going to make a game, and then Murphy can join briefly. We'll give him whatever he needs. Then he'll do whatever he needs to do for Needle. And we'll be back on our merry way. C-Bank. I'm going to make sure to hand in the quest. If we don't get the money, it doesn't count towards the points. Let me know, Murphy, if you're good. I'm gonna be swapping out. Okay. <clears throat> no worries, Chonown. You have a couple minutes. most dramatic PD trading of all time. Okay, so I'm gonna make a game in episode two. 
or if you will briefly join, and then the usual people that were just here can join back in. Who was he giving that caliber to? Oh yeah, Tiki, if you want to hop in for the trade, come to me. Did you still need the Milia, Tiki, or did you just want PDs? You said you needed 12. Okay, just let me know how much you want. Oh, I got one back. My bad. I'll just make a note. Murphy owes me 12 at some point. <laughs> Murphy owes 12 by end of year. <laughs> Just let me know, Tiggy. I can pay for it right now. <clears throat> We're in between games. I think the soundtrack gave up again. Tiggy has frozen the game. Rip Tiggy. We could potentially do it later, Tiggy. If something doesn't work. But if uh, the people from before want to start coming in, I think that's fine. We could get Tiggy later. We're going to do a PW4 anyway, Tiggy. It won't be long. Not the full quest, just the reset. So Chris, if you want to hop in. Actually, Tiggy, if you want to hop in, Chonown is still away. So Tiggy, come in if you're able to. It's all it's all going to Chris anyway, so it's fun. I'm assuming you want like 10 PDs or something for it, Tiggy, right? I think we we're talking about Milia was some and then whatever. Yeah, 10 is fine. We'll chase Tiggy down. Dramatic music as we run towards Tiggy. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop it on the floor because it's a multiplayer game. I don't really care. So we're going to give Chris the item. Wherever he is. There he is. See that? We're doing fast trades. I'll figure it out eventually. Simple mail volume. Why is this thing I can only do it inside Pioneer 2? Oh, I can't do it while in that room. Interesting. Come to me, Chris. There you go. This is like, I just woke up. What's happening? It's all about the fast trains. Welcome back, Jonan. We'll uh, get started in just a second. Yeah, I figure for the team waiting on power-ups, it just makes sense. Let's power them up now. Might as well as enjoy the event while it is what it is. So I'm going to bring the damage... I'm assuming with raw moral buffs, we should be fine. And again, we're we're going to kill up till the fifth Gaigui, and then we can leave. We don't have to do anything else. So it'll be super short runs, I promise. If, if they take more than seven minutes or even six minutes, I would be very surprised. But I am absolutely ready to murder this dumb little Ilgil. Let's go, Ilgil. Go ahead, spawn here. Oh, oh, wouldn't it be a shame if someone froze you? What a shame. Right, chat. Now, now we're in full bully mode. Like, see the skibbles? I don't even care. You're, you're actually getting combo killed. I don't need demons. 
You cast is the demon. Oh, was, my back was against the wall. My bad. Goodbye. <laughs> I mean, I'm I, no joke. I am straight legit just using uh, Charge Vulcans. Here I'm using LNK because it's funny. Man, this character is so strong, chat. I don't even know what to do. Honestly, once he's frozen, it's just kind of over. Holy, got deleted. We're just going to make sure we open the boxes. We open those boxes. There's boxes on the right. Chat can help me open those boxes. Perfect. You open the boxes. Appreciate it. So this is one guy Gui. She's getting absolutely murdered. Maybe, maybe I will just farm Seal J Sword with this character in the future. Look at his damage. Disgusting. What an actual monster. Anyway, that's the run. So we're just going to do a quick little reset. Super short. So we could say we went for Seal J Sword again during the event. So we'll do, let's say, three more after this, and then we'll move on. Just apply some ATP to the problem. You're not wrong. Yeah, real fast run. It's always funny when quests like these, or like the box run quests, is in like RBR equivalency. It's so funny. It's like, hold on, resets intensify. Like, you know this Ilgil is done. It almost makes me want to do melee. Almost. ATP applied directly to the forehead. Oh no, I understand that reference. do so much damage. Why? Hi, Gibbles. Enjoy, enjoy the freeze trap. <laughs> so if we just had two heat pass, we could combo kill everything with just a raw moral? Yeah, that's, that seems fair. What a character. Hiram. Wow. Wait, he can actually legit combo kill? Almost combo kill. Wow, that's crazy. Normal special special is almost a combo kill. Hi. Two more after this. Nice and simple. So two out of four done. Just a silly little reset run, and then we'll see where the points are. It'll probably be blue seabed, so I can potentially bring a force into seabed or Hunu roll. I don't know which one I would prefer, to be honest. It's like a technically play force into it? I don't know. Oh, I don't think I put away... Oh, I have another Bringers. That's fine. I have to remember the other guy as my Bringers. I guess it's fine he has it for now. I've been using it a lot. I have two Bringers at 50 hit. I just want to make sure one of them is available. And I already have uh, enough Adepts in the bank that it doesn't matter. I, just... I don't know if I have a Smart Link, actually, for the other character. That could be a problem. Here, um... Man, this huge cast damage is disgusting. I mean, if you ever wanted to see a, a, a basically an advertisement or a promotion for why do you use huge cast? Yeah. <laughs> just, I, they just don't even stand a chance. Wait, how did my freeze trap go off but not freeze them? That's a lucky. Oh, I got debuffed. Oh, advertisement over. My damage is so sad. I went from Hugh Cast to Rock Seal.
Okay. One more. I'll do a quick look at things. There we go. How are the points doing? Did we get something new? Seabed needs about 100. I could probably put in some like 20 or so with the team. I think that's fair. Such a fast run. But just for Chris, I'd say we, we tried to get him the Seal J Sword. See, now is a Calibur. Need to get him more red rings, so we'll be red ringing him at some point, presumably. Hear him. Jeez, I can only imagine if they had, like, if we had level 30 shift to D bat or shift to plus the lore, how broken our damage would be. I think I actually would probably combo kill. Not that we need it. Obviously, we have a bazillion AP ATP, and I'd rather if it was a shooter. Just an interesting and funny hypothetical. It's how much Hugh cast does. Gross. I'll get this money. Bonk. Still invincible. That sucks. Oh well, we tried. So, I guess we can try seabed as it. I'll host the game as Blue ID. Forgive me, I don't remember where all the Dell beaters are. I know at some point. Whenever we're in the Morphos room, Del Beaters will charge us. I just don't remember specifically what wave number it is. When we're in the final room, I remember that area a little better. Because it's like basically every two to three waves is a problem wave. So it's it's not an exaggeration to say we'll probably be grouping up every single time during that period. Okay, so let's play some Seabed together. Let's say we're going for Psycho Lawn now. And a lot of hunter weapons. So we're gonna go ahead and take one of the V502s out of our bank that we just got. Let's use a hell handgun, which has more accuracy than my other things. Probably be okay. Get rid of a heavenly power for that. Although 3 ATP is fine. It's higher than most of the rangers. At least I could provide some damage. While also having okay accuracy over force. So we're we're gonna play the game of remember where the Del Beater is. I feel like after we fight a Morphos wave, it's probably a Del Beater wave. That is what my assumption is going to be. Going into it quasi-blind, because I, I kind of remember some of the waves, but not to the point where I played it enough that I memorized it. The final room is pretty easy. I'm just going to go to the opposite side of the, of the long wall. We're going to kill the stupid squids that are there. Then it'll be a long line of squids. And then I'm basically going to stay there and try to hit the far end of the room, and Chat can do a mixture of the middle and the, and the back of the room. Or I should say entrance. That's a little confusing. I'm going to go hit the furthest thing from the entrance. Chat can hit things that are near the entrance. Because eventually it's going to be a wave of uh, one Del Beater on either side of the main strip and a Morphos in the corner, which is kind of annoying. I'll bring it up when we get closer there, but just be aware that there's a long strip. I'm, gonna, I'm going to stand where we should probably be standing, for the most part. And you're, you can feel free to walk along that strip. It's kind of like Tower. If you're staying near the edge of the wall, it's probably fine. Versus, like, the middle of the room.
Okay. Let's do some seabed, build those points up. So, definitely if you have hell, this is like your hell, hell world. There's going to be a couple enemies we occasionally have to demon. I'm honestly just assuming Imperameter has it. I'm just going to worry about doing damage with demons. So much hell. Okay, at least with Red Ring, I get a guaranteed special. Kind of nice. Just a little bit with consistency. Damn, that was fast. So we're going to have to be on the lookout for Sinnohs. These Sinnohs potentially are a problem for us. They're somewhat resistant to hell. We might have people with de dedicated frozen shooters just to stop them from doing things. This quest also has a lot of Dell Depths, so we're going to try to let only the people that have frozen shooters attack when we get to those. There's none in this room, but there will be in future rooms. But so far, you know, pretty peaceful. I'm going to go... Oh, hello. The red robots are the things we can hell very easily. But if they're frozen, it makes our job really easy. Where this Morphos is, I want to stand. I know at some point there'll be Dell Beaters. It might be the next room that has them. So because I don't have a Frozen Shooter, I'm actually just going to spam Hell here. And the reason I want to do that is even if it misses, it resets their attack animation. I'm going to... Whenever I see a gap in their spawns, I'm just going to fireball in the corner. So if you want, you can hang out near me. I'm going to try to keep you protected the best I can. Dell Dev. Playing. Targetable. Unfortunate. Thank you for the look, Nate. Oh, he charged over there. I was I was ready for him that time. He just decided to uh, do whatever in the corner. So because we have so many rangers, we should be able to shut down this area pretty easily. I'm just going to be trying to hell as much as I can, and then I'll do damage with my ATP. This room is a little evil. I'm gonna del- I know there's Del Beaters here immediately. There, it, there's not really a good time to set up in this room, sadly. So, we know eventually there's gonna be Morphos on the high ramps. So if you want, you can prep yourself to be near one of them to take him out. I'm probably gonna go up this ramp to kill the one that spawns up here and shoot in the main room itself. Let's see if I can get his allure going, yeah. Uh, so I could kill the Rico boxes that are there. I should be able to kill the Morphos that's near me. I can stay near the ramp since there's going to be one up the ramp. Oh, I got punished. Fortunately, he teleported to me. What a troll. Ice and go backwards. Ouch. Double kill. That was so sick. I'm gonna let chat mostly handle this one. As I said before, I want to just spam specials potentially. I could do a little ATP once they're frozen. I don't mind doing that. But it should be Morphos time. Here's the Morphos. Did I seriously miss? I right, maybe I do normal, normal special, and that should work. Nope does not want to proc. That's so sad. Come on, game. Did I really fail at 59 EDK that many times? That's so sad. Well, anyway, it's going to be, uh, I think, double Del Beater up the ramp. So just be warned after this, there's going to be Del Beater. Uh, I will try to protect you. So I'm going to keep an eye out and just Gafoe as soon as I think we're done. There we go. Yeah, there's there's a couple of spawns I remember, like here and there. <laughs> it, it's it's coming back to me a little bit. So at least 
so far, I haven't let a Del Vita run wild. And the one that didn't go towards me. Secret rare. My rangers now delete episode two. Oh, nice Samba. I'll need to unlock. Okay, so we don't need anything else there. So I think we could take, I'm sorry, we could go up the door. I was going for items, I got distracted. If we go through the door here, there should be a healing circle coming up to get your traps back in like a room or two. So we just have to get through this. Yeah, we just have to get through this. I'm gonna stand in the bottom right corner of this room. You are more than welcome to join me because at some point you will get Delbuter, <laughs> just to warn you. We, we will try to trigger them and see what happens. Come on. Let's clean these Rico boxes up first. So whenever I see a Morphos wave and then a pause, I'm going to mash that good fully. I'm going to make sure I'm not like attack spamming. So for now, we can separate a little if you want, but just be warned that this is going to be a double leader room where like three charge or something dumb. Get rid of these. Okay. Should be able to freeze. Okay, there we go. Chat helping me find them a little easier. Easier when they're frozen. Uh, so I think after this one might be Del Beater, just be careful. I'm going to try to pick them off by not looking at them. Oh, I'm sorry. There's... Oh, my God. I always forget about this. There's one more wave between us and the Del Beater run. Because I did that last time. I remember doing that last time. But it's fine. I'll let chat deal with the Del Depths. Nice. Fireball time. There we go. Good freeze trap. I'd like that. That initiative. Okay, so I need to remember I get faked out. It's one after the Morpho, so I'm going to try to remember that for next run. But as long as, like, we're, we're cautioned for it, we should be fine. So now your healing circle should be back up. So you, now you can get a better sense of when you can trap since you can cure it here. I'm just going to take it to recover TP. I'm greedy. So it's, it's fairly forgiving. For a seabed quest, it's like, you know, it actually gave us a healing circle. And there's really not that much left after this. So this is the long room. This central strip that I'm walking to right now is where I'm going to be the whole time. There's going to be a lot of squids on either side. Just pick a side and shoot. And just be warned where we're standing in a straight line will be squid. So I'm going to purposely move a little further forward in anticipation that they'll appear behind us. And then after this, I think we need to deal with the Del Beaters, which will be in the corners of the room. Let me go ahead and rebuff some people. But just be warned. I think it will be bad stuff in a moment. Oh, Del Def's first. To remember, Del Def's first. Okay, I'm able to kill them. I'm on hell. Damn, I still can't land it consistently without freeze. Okay, so now I'm on the lookout. I'm expecting a Del Beater wave with two Morphos. There it is. Debuff time. We'll get a little bit of a reprieve. I know that there can't possibly be another Del Beater back to back. But if you ever sense an awkward pause, death is probably approaching in the form of Del Beater. <laughs> but right now, I don't think the next wave is Del Beater, but the one after that might be. Oh, this is horrendously gross. Oh gosh, I'm getting bullied. No, and I'm even gonna Galatine. If I could Galatine them, I'm gonna feel so good. There we go. Look at that. Galatine putting in some work. Though I think after this is the Del Beater wave, so just be warned. Let's get that we're already grouped up. Oh, I can actually hit this thing. Okay. Here they come. That awkward moment when you want to attack and you picked up like four items instead of attacking.
So we get a little bit of a reprieve. We're almost done. There's going to be a final wave of five Del Beaters, so we're, we're building up to it. I think there's one more wave before it happens. Do these things. There we go. Nice health shots. Oh, wait. Awkward pause. I'm going to get Bowie. I'm going to get Bowie. My bad. I thought there was a wave in between. I'll take the blame for that one. After the Sinnohs, it is this again. Okay. I think after that, I think I know where most of the Del Beaters are now. So I think we're good. Review. <laughs> I was like, I will go forward and I will galatine you. We're galatine. <laughs> there we go. That wasn't too bad. Another Zalor 30. Interesting. Welcome, Edward Nigma. Hope you're doing well. I don't know where the Zalor is. There it is. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. With this much hell and this many casts, we'll be fine. I'm just gonna turn in the quest. How many points this thing needs? Only needs 80 more. We're, we're not gonna be supplying all 80, but we can supply like another, another 16. I think that's fair. Because it just requires three more clears to give uh, 20 total points. I think that's reasonable contribute towards the bonus. Somebody is starting to hard grind August Atrocity. We'll help them with that in a moment. Hopefully the Hell Needle ends up being a lot of fun, Murphy. Should be very easy to get the PDs back. <laughs> when you could just one-shot entire rooms. Yeah, I think the team went through pretty smooth. Now you kind of got an idea of what to expect, and we'll run it a few more times, and you'll just own it a little more. Parameter's opening the spot up. Okay. The parameter is dropping out. Is there somebody that would like to join us? I was gonna say Murphy, yeah, we do need Helm. <laughs> I was gonna say Murphy's like, ooh, oh, I get to hell everything. There we go. Oh boy, so many casts. Don't worry, I got all the buffs and debuffs the team needs. I was too deep into the cast life. I was like, damn. Hugh Neural and her three raw cast buddies. <laughs> what the hell, Murphy? Nice one, Tiggy. Did you need a loner or frozen shooter, Murphy? I know I have them, I just didn't identify them. Should probably go put this lore back since you're here anyway. Sure thing. So many gold badges.
keep an eye on the points. Yeah, Seabed doesn't need that many more. And we're contributing towards it. Okay. Gotta eat my grinders. Mmm. That's how cast gets strong. We'll let everybody group up and then we'll apply some buffs. Not that we'll need Shifter that much. And gun gold found after defeating Dullsaber. Nice. Tiki is like, I will find you. <laughs> I will hunt you down. Ooh, luck material. I will take that escape doll for sure. You're good now. <laughs> I'm gonna say, Tiggy's living the life. You got Psycho Wand and you got your uh, paired guns. All in the span of a couple days. Now you have extra PDs to go towards whatever you want. There we go. There's the ATP side of things kicking in. There's so much hell going on. Just pew pew pew. <laughs> Poor enemies. Oh, I tried using my handgun range to hit them. Let me over here that I get back to my old account somehow. Now it's even better. Nice, nice. Oh my bad. I didn't realize he was uh, not frozen. Gonna do some big damage for the team there. Just want to make sure he doesn't leap at me. I'm more scared about his leaps than anything else. Oh, this is just actually a massacre. Uh, I didn't, I didn't get Bowie that time, chat. I had restraint. I didn't fall for it. As long as I get Bowie here, I should be fine. Oh, he didn't even really charge. He just kind of meandered. Interesting. Well, it sucks to be that Del Beater. Imperial pick. Interesting. Fortunate time to check my phone. Heard it buzz. Okay. Be a little easier. I wonder. I guess I should have brought demons on my side. That's fine. These Rico boxes are so annoying. Please stop hitting me. Damn, even with Red Ring, I still don't have guaranteed hits. I was gonna say hell percentage, please. Alright, that's it. I'm just galatining them. Get out of my face. <laughs> right, chat? You know what? <laughs> Tired of using hell handgun. It's not working. Galatine away. Uh, I'm gonna move back towards the group. Buffin time. Yeah, I'm gonna go back up to my designated sniper perch. And can finish this off. I wanna try to get this thing before it hits me. Deleted you. Install him with specials. There we go. There's technically a chance I could kill him with hell. 
Why do I keep missing hell there? I really needed to land. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, why game? Why? There we go. So we know there's going to be gel beaters once we're done with the boxes, but this is kind of our little cleanup for. Pew, 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 all the hell. Bowie. Interesting, those also don't charge. Huh. It's actually, even though there's a lot of Del Beaters there, that's actually more kind than I thought it would be. A little surprising. Aww, oh, I thought it was gonna get frozen. But anyway, I have the deleted Del Death button, which is the Galatine. It sadly comes with only Machine and A Beast. I would love anything better than the one that I'm using. Even like a 30 Dark would be kind of insane. I would love to use it on uh, these kinds of characters. I missed the bronze badge, whatever. they're gonna come after this one strain i almost did it again i told my fingers no i promise you it's not this wave this wave should be them hello del beaters would you like to be galatine well look at that damage just imagine if this thing had hit percentage chat or dark. Look at the damage. <laughs> it cost me all my TP, but you know what? I'm having fun with it. Like, listen, sometimes all you want is damage. You'll pay any price for it. you're feeling at beyond full strength. Diggy now at 120%. Super Saiyan Tiggy achieved. Uh, I'm gonna try to- oh I got rooted, that's annoying. I'm gonna try to hit the Rico boxes with my handgun, which is actually somewhat useful that I have reached there. the team so they don't have to spam trimates. Mr. Delbeater Wave, leave me alone. Kinda works. 
twice. And now I know after this one is definitely Dill Beater, so that's gonna be my correction in this room. Magical journey. Should be fun. You're dead. You're dead. These church Vulcans still kind of works. Cutting out. So we'll do probably two more. I'm just checking the point totals. So it's at seven nine four two for seabed. So we're we're building it up a little bit. You gotta go after that one, good to know. Let's do one more. Perfect. Look at that chat, almost. Two hours worth of assisting with the anniversary event and rising. Minus some PW for shenanigans. That way we have video proof. We did it. <laughs> We're gonna push another milestone again. Focus is back on PSO. At some point, you could probably have some breakfast. Well, we could. We're gonna transition, I think, between quests probably after this one. I'm just looking to see how close we were with the points. And it's within 60 now. I don't think we'll do all 60 points on stream. That's a that that's a little bit of a shenanigan, I would say. I wouldn't mind doing one more of these before we split off. For somebody that wants to hop in for one seabed run. Then after that, we could do a couple of atrocity ones and see how we feel about it. Or at least just one to see how we feel about it again. This has been a while since we did it. I'm kind of back and forth what would be a good ID for it. Like, is it worth running orange ID maybe? stick to blue for Jaya's. An interesting call either way. Let's heal everybody up. Ooh, hell failure. There we go. And after that we'll probably rotate into whatever the group wants. I just figure it would be worth trying to get the event, like the bonus within the next hour or so. And then if we want to do some TTF to celebrate or RT afterwards. Or if there's another anniversary quest you would like to run, that's also fine. 
So I did have fun with Yellow ID CCA, so that's an example of a quest where we would still technically add points, but it would be nice. A 40 hit Disco with no special. Disappointing. Yeah, that should aid with the team's ability to kill. Perfect. I almost Gafoe'd. My finger touched it, and I was like, don't you dare press that button. <laughs> it's not a Gafoe wave. Four enemies. Adelidus is not targetable. It's just getting frozen over and over. I can't do anything. As long as somebody can hit it, I guess that's fine. I was gonna say, we owe Chris some TTFs at some point. Um, oh. So, where did stopped it? I mean, I stopped it on my screen, but I saw they hit somebody already. A okay, debuff time for sure. We're going to prop. Oh no, I got confused. We killed one of them. We almost killed the other. Nice. Teams, I think, got the other one on lockdown. To offer some damage is the hunter. Which makes sense. We're the hunter. We should be able to kill it. Oh, I'm in trouble, I think. Senozo is annoying. Leave me alone. Debuff time. Oh, just getting straight bullied. Let's go help chat out with the buffs in a second. Buff? Buff. 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 Debuff. There we go. Okay, so I could still come over here in time, I think. There we go. Much better. Right below me, I couldn't hit it. That was so awkward. There we go. So we could say we went for Cycle Wand again today. No Sambo, sadly. Yeah, Charge Falcon does seem to just do so much damage. It'll be nice kind of filling in her levels a little bit more. Hmm. I, I don't count what the party receives. I haven't received it. <laughs> party, party receives 80 hit calibers. I haven't seen those before. I get out of here. They're not real. Yeah, I'm going to try to trigger it since for some reason the trigger in this room is really goofy. It's like somewhere in the like dead middle you have to stand. I will say, I do think some of the spawns in this game are a little jank. It's like this is one of them. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I'm like, I'm not benefiting from Zamba. I don't even own a Zamba. Fun fact. If you look in the, all the times I've ever played this game, I still have yet to ever own a Zamba. I've never used one on stream, as I've never owned one. It has never dropped for me. Rip the Zamba. I think I might have given up an all-zeroed one once, like, years ago. But I have never physically used it. Oh, I actually got the Hell Trap. That was kind of nice. Hope you're doing well, Hulk Leaf. Oh, Strife has forsaken me, definitely. Make a foey time. I 
need to sort it semi-charge Vulcans at the top of the menu. It's always awkward when my common weapons are like midway in a list. I don't know. We should kind of stayed at the top. Oh well. This is where I would consider some manual sorting, just so I don't have to deal with that. Yeah, I th I think my best Yun Chang is like a 25 or a 30 hit. It's okay. I'm gonna wait for the team here. Eros found Heaven Punisher. Don't say Hilda Tor. Thank you. It's like, oh, don't, please don't do the boo Hilda Tor. It's so painful to watch people do that. So, so boring. And let me try to trigger the room. Come on, room trigger. You're here somewhere. There we go. <laughs> anyway, back over to the sides again. Game, please. I think we mostly understand how to do this run. Will I remember it? Sort of. In the future. Kind of. At least I have do enough damage that I can kill with my Hell Handgun. That's always kind of nice. Yeah, it makes sense if you're going for, like, a uh, system before. Like, Holy Ray makes sense to me. But I'm gonna have to try. Team is just getting sniped over and over. There we go. Get some healing in. What a wave. Fireball will go a long way. Ooh, nice freeze. Yeah, like in this run, I would probably get rid of my Jaya if I was doing it more seriously. Just so that I have less things between me and my Charge Vulcan. up one last time. Ooh, why did they charge so delayed? It was weird. One of them was like almost three seconds ahead of the others. Anyway, let's delete you. There we go. Sadly, no Psycho ones. Gonna bob and weave through the Masetta. There we go, chat. We helped. Points again. T bet is at seven nine seven one. Arguably, we could do another one. August Atrocity One only needs like one or two runs. We might just do that to push it through.
Okay, so we have a opening, since I believe Jonah needs to step away. Thank you, Jonah, for the runs. Hopefully you had a good time. We're gonna do one more seabed for the, the purpose of pushing it through for the event. That way we can't be accused of uh, <laughs> only doing selfish runs. You're wide open. Thank you for the follow. Somebody wants to do a quick little seabed run. We now have another free slot. I'm going to go grow to some of the crap that I picked up earlier. Because <laughs> I was saying before, I remember I was trying to last swan. I kept picking up items. Hmm. Probably put away two of the escape dolls. I don't need this many. We'll give people a minute or so. If anybody would like to hop in and do some seabed, it's a pretty easy run. I mean, we have a lot of hell, I think, between all of us. Should be mostly fine. Oof, big silence. <laughs> I guess people don't want to do sea bed. That's fair, I guess. We'll wait another minute or so, and then we'll get started. Seeing if anything updates in the points. I think we're... It looks like maybe two or three different teams are running it currently. We were planning on stopping on this soon. Okay, well, I guess we'll get going. A little unfortunate, but not going to be a big bump, I think, after this. And I guess I'll ask Chris what kind of runs he wants to do, since he hasn't been on the stream as often. Been busy this week. We did some Seal J Sword. I know we want some TTF. Probably do that at some point. These guys. There we go. I wasn't sure if Techium was around. I know Techium said he wanted to do Seabed. Would have been a good point to step in, but oh well. Get rid of the Dolandarls. Hell shots. Damn, we were let down. Right, I'm just going for damage. There comes a certain point in time where you just give up. That was one of them. Oh. Man, I really failed the hell there. That sucks. Well, that worked, though. I say, please don't dunk me. Leave me alone. Interesting. I can't land that consistently. I'm just going to ATP him. Let's 
gonna say. I knew he teleported near me. I was just trying to guess where he was. Hello, Lone Delvedar. Goodbye, Delvedar. Delbeater kill. Murphy down. Kill the other Delbeater for sure here. Try to buff Murphy. Seriously, I shot the recon in the sky and not the thing looking at me. That sucked. That right there was trolling. I've never seen Vulcan just so willingly not shoot the thing that's right in front of me. <laughs> it's like, cut me a break on that one. Oh, come on, really? I failed the hell. Oh well, team has my back at least. Even if hell doesn't, team had me there. I can't believe that actually worked. The Robarda there. That should not have worked, but I will take it. Oh, you're so dead. I'm normal attacking you. Get out of here. Ouch. One more Fos down. Oh, come on. He can hit me, but I can't hit him. That's not how hot the high ground is supposed to work. Wait a minute. I'm losing because I have high ground? This is shenanigans, chat. They're like, it's over, you new rule. You have the high ground. High ground. Minecraft high ground. Oh no. Star Wars did lie to us. That was nonsense. I underestimated... You underestimated his power level. It's true. Oh, Calvisha, meant to ask. How's uh, Shadow Hearts going? I didn't get to catch it since I was uh, doing stuff at the time. I do want to watch it. Just, unfortunately, this week is... This month is going to be the crazy month. It's going to be hard to find some downtime for it. There we go. I managed to meander into the spawn point this time. You finished the mine today? Nice. I was like, as soon as I did that, I was like, uh oh, that's not good. Heal the group a little. Oh, because you didn't read about his ability. Oh, yeah, yeah, that would get you. It's kind of an interesting balance if you do feel like using him. I feel like for the most part, the gold bat isn't usually hyper worth it. There's only like a couple scenarios. But yeah, indeed, it's the Grand Papillion. Is there? I, I remember being more scared about his health. Usually, it's I'm not worried about damage in that game. I'm worried about HP. There's like a couple scenarios I use it for. Weirdly, I like it in Golden Bat when I'm in random encounters. I hated it on bosses. Because I was like, oh no, I'm basically one-shot territory. 
there's stuff you could do to manipulate it later, which makes it a lot easier. This takes a little while to get to. Oh, are you are you doing any of the grid stuff yet, Calvation, by the way? I don't remember when they introduced that into the game. Like, are you playing a mini game whenever you collect something? If you don't know what I'm talking about, the answer is no. It it's hard not to know what I'm talking about if you got to that point in the game. Is this like a whole bunch of riddles and stuff you can solve with the uh, elements? Yeah, yeah, they have a certain order. I'm not sure if you've been doing that yet or not, Calvisha. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, yeah, that's good then. Yeah, I like that you could customize the characters enough. I think he has met the zoologist. He got to Paris once. I don't know if he's back there. He said he completed mines. Which is like... Right before... Right after it, I think? The zoologist is something else. I hope you have fun with the zoologist, Calvisham. That whole side quest is a trip. I hope you end up doing the whole thing. I'm gonna Zalore. Die. Ooh, I got hit by the Morphos. Okay, I'm gonna try to kill the Morphos. That whole game is definitely a trip. I would say it's the only real weak point to me, honestly, was probably like the middle of the game when they introduced a specific character. I did not like how that stopped like the rest of the story. Did not feel good. But otherwise, uh, wow. Like, all the side quests in that game were ridiculous. We'll see if Calvisham gets a man mode emote or not. What are these? the room free. Welcome, Tycoon. Hope you're doing well. Uh, things are going okay. I think we're kind of in like a intermediary peri period between party members. We're definitely looking for a plus one on stuff. Hope you're doing well. We're almost at the 8,000 points. Oh my bad, I got I looked down at the worst time. Good free strap though, good recover. I am going to stand up and spam heal, I think. Buffs, cure Chris. Teacher Gama was already a trip. Oh man, Calvisham, you are not ready. You're you're in the tame part of the game, Calvisha. You you haven't gone into like the Looney Tunes yet. You're you're getting a taste. <laughs> Holy. Some of the characters. Yeah. Yeah, Grand Papillion sets the mood for a lot of the game. So if you did not like the Grand Papillion, that's a bit sad. A lot of the game will be like that. What are these things? He ignored my Gafoey. Went just right past me. That's so rude. I must have done it just like a tiny bit slow. I hit like one of them, but then others just kind of got clipped and ignored it. Oh well. Let's bully him. There we go, the final seabed. Let's see, so before we hand it in, the total is up to... Eight thousand. So yeah, there's just the August Atrocity left. We do a couple of those, and then we'll do, I think, chat requests for the rest of the night. But probably for like an hour and a half to two hours. Yeah, we do here. 
Zond. Uh. Take that D-band though. Yeah, I remember... <laughs> I still remember getting the blind ring. What was it? Six key while blind with sped up ring? Oh my gosh. The power rush of one-shotting that boss chat. <laughs> that did get clipped. I 100% re remember that. Straight, straight zero to death that boss. Get out of here. Spent one turn buffing and then boom, one shot. Yeah, I, I think I'd like... To, I definitely want to go back to that game. We're probably going to play that game next year, to be honest with you. We're going to play, like, the, the greatest hits. Mostly my favorite games for 2025. So expect that and uh, other shenanigans. I might replay Kessin 2. Man, Kessin 2 was so good. We still try some other games in there, of course. Like we we technically need a Rune Factory playthrough at some point, since that did not get recorded. So according to YouTube history, I did not play it through. But unfortunately, it's now been like a long time since I played it, so I don't remember the recipes. Whereas before, I had been playing it and then played it on stream. But oh well. Let's switch to... Hmm. If rangers, that might be fine. I could be a force. I guess if I'm not sure, I could try blue force to try it and then try orange. Or I could do orange first, because I almost never play orange. Yeah, let's give orange a shot. That slowdown guy has been there all day. What's he thinking? I saw he got a uh, Uber last stream. Not well, not not like today's last stream, but yesterday's. Flash the day before, depending on how you view midnight. So I think they just kind of AFK until they get their group ready. Okay, so Chris is going to step out for a run. Let's try to get the bonus and see if it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, they meditate and then bam, they just get an Uber. So Murphy will be in. I think I saw Kaiser in the lobby. If you want to do some episode one briefly for Atrocity. We're very close to the 8,000 points. We could probably literally push it there ourselves if we want. I think it's like... Five runs from us would do it. It's not very many. I'd prefer to only have to do four or three, but we'll see. And then from there, we'll do whatever the chat wants. So if I had to guess, it would probably be something like Red Ring. Yeah, I like that this character's HP is 1337. I'm so sad that this character will be ruining their ill total <laughs> for leveling up with this quest. Oh well. Ooh, her accuracy is terrible. Uh, let's go get her some accuracy and some bringers. She should have a Glide Divine, right? Because she has it on her. I don't know how much I'm actually going to be spellcasting for damage, so I'm going to put away most things. The way I can hold more items. I'm surprised her shortcuts work, because I have not used her in quite some time. I mean, she's going to need a lot of adibs, for sure. Ooh, do I have any spare smartlings? Damn, I might actually have to purchase them. That's so sad. I don't think I even really gave that many away, if any. But now we're at the stage where I actually need to worry about accuracy. 
Nice. So she needs the double additive to get Chisa Fodu roll. Could replace God Technique with PB Create, but there's no point. Yeah, I could tell I was doing uh, episode four with her before, because we were doing. P Whenever I see double PB Create, I'm like, there's only one reason I would do double PB Create. That reason involves dolphining something. Okay. I think that should be good here. She has two. She actually has two endgame mags. Yeah. I like that she has one that has power, one that's all defense. For when she inevitably has to survive episode two. I'm assuming with this, I should at least be able to be good. Yeah, and my other techniques are improved. That should be fine. So, final call for the fourth slot. Chris is stepping away for one run. for hopping in. Let's see how we feel about this quest. Honestly, I don't remember a lot about it. I know it's mines. I know there were kind of... S kind of small rooms we fought in. We're gonna be in the big rooms first, though. That much I remember. Kind of believe in the Megan. There we go. My Megan did something. It's like, and I helped. So I'll wait back here. I'll deal with the Rappies. Wow, maybe it could actually reach us from there? That's crazy. Speaking of crazy, let's go pick up a PD. Oh, baited. Bomb one. Like, you got me. Yeah, I'm gonna quit Glide Divine. I'm gonna be picking up all these PDs. I'll probably be out of position if I had to guess. Okay, so we're gonna go back this way. I guess we could fire, so let's stack some fire here. Is she set up to do it's freeze? Freeze and thunder. That's fair. Can't believe I got that freeze. Love it though. Hold the fire scepter for faster casting. And fire stacks, maybe. There we go. Yeah, gold bench. First one of the session. I guess there's no reason to not give Foamy stack. Even if it does less damage, it's still damage.
There we go. Help him with the combo kills. Ah, uh, jokes on the Marissa's. I was already stacking. That works. Pen arms. Oh, she has so much TP. The double Megan multi kill. Oh, that was satisfying. Okay, on the plus side, I heal for like 1,000 to the whole room. That's pretty good. If I'm just if I'm just looking to keep people alive, I like this. Hello, Ogil. Would you like to perish? Oh, we do 383 a fireball? That's actually not garbage. Surprisingly. Oh, I'm so hosed. Can't turn around. Unless I do this. There we go. I can use Zond to turn around while stunned. There we go, chat. We use Zond for the first time, but again, not for damage. <laughs> but I can't turn around and hit something. But I don't want to use Grants because it locks me in forever. Also, rip the soundtrack. It died at the worst room. I'm gonna try to revive it here. I don't think we hit the end. No, oh, just getting trolled. Shutting down the waves pretty hard. Double miracle, get out of here. Silly Sinnoh. Perish. That's a room. This is simple. Like on, like everybody's fighting like the ghosts of the robot. Like it's, it's everywhere. Yet it's nowhere. I think I clipped him with me. Get there. That works. Oh, he keeps getting hit. There we go. Oh, that is a rude spawn. Ill gill double brands. Ill. Gross. gonna say these technically can drop lava's cannon i know that was one of the things chris was looking for in theory it would be nice to get Big chat topped off in hell i got sat on by gibbles 
me alone, Gibble. No, wow, he did so much damage to me. He actually triggered my invincibility. That's so sad. I think he was trying to punch me, but I'm invincible, so I couldn't tell. <laughs> it's just like, I'm like, what is it doing? And I'm like, oh, I think it's trying to fight me. Yeah, unlike Sato, Nidra actually likes my mages. So I'm usually going to be invincible if I ever get hit. Oh, healing circle. I will take that to not have to use a trifluid. Bonk. Now that is a wave. Double Delveter Dorthon. Gross. Will you stop knocking me down while I'm trying to buff? It's so obnoxious. Thank you. Please perish. Die to Foey. Slowing down the brands for the team. My brand. a little. Hello, Vonzel. Hope you're doing well. Doing our best to try to get that anniversary bonus. We're getting close. Rebarda, please. Wow, Rebarda actually trolling. That's it. 7928. So other people are running it currently. We're not the only ones. Probably like two more. Good enough, because that'll mean we add 8, 16, we'll put it at 50. By the time we finish this, presumably another batch will come in. Yeah, let's go until 11 o'clock with it, and then we'll just do TTF or whatever. I'm assuming chat wants the TTF. I just like that the dub chick seems to have no switch. I will say this is probably my least favorite spawn. I just find them very annoying. Yeah, overall I think I do like the second one a bit more. I think it's just the placement of the enemies. Just like, if they had lended itself to be like a bit more gafoe stacky, I probably would have liked it more. I don't think there's like any super awful wave. Like double Del Beat or Dorfon is annoying, but like that's about the level that it rises to. There we go. Saber's left arm, nice. That poor miracle is just instantly dead. I have been 
that's left. Rip Kasame. Uh, uh, don't... No, don't you melee me into this fireball. I'm gonna be very annoyed if that kills me. You know... I am getting trolled, so get off of me. Somebody please kill this Del Saber. I beg of you. I can't do anything. Oh, there we go. He died eventually. This feels like the final wave. There we go. Eventually got through. I gonna say, look what Chris has to look forward to. And yeah, we'll do two more. That'll be that'll be our hard cut off. Which which character I use? I think she was okay, but I want to try blue ID for a couple runs. And that'll be the last we do of it for the night. So many items. Okay. Bank four. Uh, every enemy drops as though it was from the episode it originates from. If there's a conflict as to which episode it comes from, it will default to the episode I selected. So let's say Del Saber is in episode 1 and episode 2, but I'm doing the uh, episode 1 version of the quest, then it will be the episode 1 version of the enemies. So it'll be ruins in that case. Make another game. Or if he needs to step out, the Chris, if you'd like to hop back in. the action music hold on we're skipping ahead i talked about this before are there any action themes left i i need something to like stay awake better it's just like hours of peaceful music I'm like I, it bothers me after a while it really does better Okay, so we still have a free slot for somebody that wants to jump in. We're gonna do two more of these and we'll probably do like an easy hour and a half. Yeah, it was like Soul Calibur, like it's just really boring music. Just like, I, it's not at all what I think of when I think of Soul Calibur. I mean, compare that to, like, any of the earlier ones. It's just, like, there's just endless, like, incidental music in this one. Like, no thanks. One or two are fine. Literally, like, 12 songs in a row. No thank you. <clears throat> Did you want to hop back in, Remote? We'll do uh, probably like an hour and a half of TTFs. Because I think Chris wants Red Ring. We could possibly do it as Red ID. Oh, Dango's here. Never mind. Disregard. Slot has been filled. Tagging Dango in. Nice, nice. 
Appreciate it. So that way we can say we played the Atrocity 1, we played Tower, we played Seabed. We pushed it. And then after that, we're gonna push TTF into the ground. <laughs> That'll be the reward for sticking through it. You have a magical piece in hand. I mean, I guess this is fun. I don't plan on demoning a lot. I plan on debuffing a lot, though. Slice, slice, slice. Ouch. I've been lined up with. Ouch. I'm still lined up with someone. Team, I beg of you, please move forward. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm just like, ah, uh, I'm getting bullied. Let me get there if I want to. Failed me. So sad. That time it worked. Switch, nice. Good shot, chat. Dango moving around with an L and K combat. Hope you have fun with the Dango. Sadly, it's hard to land anything other than normal attacks until you freeze the target. But if they do happen to be frozen, GG. Here's a Jaya. Here's two chances at limiter. It would be funny if somebody got limiter from this run. Like of all the potential runs. Doing some wacky world stuff here. Yeah, see his Kifoe stacks are just so strong. I think it does actually save time. As much as I like her supportive abilities... Don't mind me, we're gonna use the monster reader while the radar is closed to determine what's near us. Well, sure sucks to be those Sinnohs, they're getting chipped out. Oof, I got Photon Drop from an enemy that I think gives Lava's Cannon, question mark? The blue and orange also get Lava's Cannon from the same Sinnoh. Again, just very small Lava's Cannon chances here. No worries, Murphy. Appreciate the assistance today. Hopefully you had a good time. In the laser. Hopefully that Hell Needle ends up being a lot of fun. Just 
so little damage. Fireball. Yeah, I thought about White ID here, but there's like just nothing to farm Disco Brave Mount on. If there was like at least, I don't know, like 45 different ways to get Disco Brave Man, I would have done White ID here. But I, I was not very impressed with the selection for White ID, sadly. There could be other rares I'm missing, but that was the main one where I'm like, oh, it should be pretty easy because there's a lot of common enemies. And I'm like, nope, White ID Mines is terrible. There's a lot of mine enemies here. It's like, I could technically play for the seven Ilgil in the entire quest if I wanted to. I think it makes more sense to play to, like, the 50 enemies. Ouch. Massacre there. Ouch. Joke's on you. I was hit by the Dell Saber, so I couldn't be targeted. Did a little practical joke on that enemy. Nice try, though. Downgraded them into minor annoyances at best. Keep up time. Team all the time in the world to deal with this. There we go. I got Miga through eventually. That was the worst time to run out of TP, mid debuff. Nice. I actually got a couple of kills there. significantly. now at 58 points. I'm thinking once we clear this, we're going to add in a total of 8. That'll put it within 30. Not too bad. We're getting there. But seriously, though, are we out of fight music? Why do we keep getting background music? Killing me. Like, come on. Soul Calibre, please. What happened to the high... The high pace slash high energy... From the earlier songs? Like, this just sounds like something that would play as you... Oh, I got one shot. That sucks. 
It sounds like something that would play as like a tech school goes by. I don't I don't think like action game when I hear this. I really need it to be something more fast-paced. It's actually, like, killing me. The soundtrack is starting to annoy me. It's just, like, we had, like, all the character themes early, and then it's just been, like, 30 songs of just, like, calm, relaxing village music. Like, that's a lot of what it sounded like. And then occasionally there's, like, I would label the song as Dark Clouds Form Over the Kingdom. Like, none of it is inspiring or really energy-filled songs. It's going to put me to sleep. <laughs> it's like, it's actually just too, too slow. This is a little better, but it's still not great. I feel like there are more waves. It's a really big pause in between. Run, Dango Tron, run. Super jump chick is slapping me. Leave me alone. sure how my Jelen missed him. He punched me, but my Jelen missed him. A little unfair. I'm gonna say spawn invincibility, please. worth of damage there. They actually gave me a mag blast. Disgusting. Eventually. Here we go, I'm meleeing with my magical piece. I got nothing better to do. surprised that didn't kill me. So that's the benefit of level ups. Okay, I'm not out of tri-fluids. My menu is just really sorted. How to explain some things. I was like, I felt like I should have them, but I didn't see them in my other quick menu. 
Biker to Bulu. Let's double check to see how close it is. Hasn't updated yet. It's so close. So at most we're gonna do probably no more. <laughs> I think I think I'm good. I feel like we tried. We we added 50 something points to it. Let me just put some items away. We'll switch over to like TTF for real. But I need to change the soundtrack. This one's driving me wild. It's not even like town music that I like. I, it's like, it's not that I'm opposed to it. It's just like one minute loop extended is like not doing it for me. I right, still so caliber six. I'm giving up on your soundtrack. Okay, Kaiser needs to step out. Sure thing. Uh, uh I'm going to play a soundtrack that's been on my mind for a while. Okay, so I'm going to bring in Shooty McBangBang, Bang, but I need somebody potentially a little better than Sky to host. I mean, I can still host it. Preferably red if somebody has it. Otherwise, green is good. Viridian is good. Yeah, we dedicated almost a solid two and a half hours to leveling up the anniversary event. I think that's good enough. Enjoy our run. Dangotron is Viridian. That would work. If you'd like to host Dango. We'll need potentially somebody with abilities <laughs> of some sort. I mean, I wouldn't doubt two who casts in a raw cast could beat this boss, though. I'll be real with you. I do like in this game how much this theme evolves throughout the entire soundtrack. I think that's like one of the best parts of the soundtrack. Every time it- Ooh, XP! We got it! So is XP up, chat. Perfect. I had a feeling somebody would complete it. We're good. So we stopped just on the final one, chat. We earned that bonus experience. So come on in, Chris. I think we got a lot of free slots at the moment. I'm not sure if there's a fourth slot, but if somebody would like to join in besides Chris... Do have a slot open. It is TTF. I feel like that's something probably people would want to run. We would prefer somebody with techniques. They don't have to be super high level. I would even take Ramar. Dicky has found Sincesta. Congrats. Uh, we're doing towards the future. Congratulations, Dicky. So, any non-cast? <laughs> that, that's the only thing I'm asking for. I'll, I will even take humor. I'm like, listen, we just need somebody that isn't a cast. We have cast covered. We're good. <laughs> I have all the damage in the world. If you want to play support, it's up to you. Uh, Whatever you want to level between those two. I'm fine with others. No text cast only final destination. Yeah, I, I'm really not picky. Trust me when I say I'm going to delete this boss with level 20 buffs. It, it does not matter. I can even delete with level 15. I don't think it matters. I just need something. <clears throat> and then we should be good. Plus, we haven't done anything with Pasta Punk, so it'd be cool to uh, do some runs with them. But yeah, see, this is kind of music where there's at least like some kind of energy to the song. Do you know what I mean? Even if it's kind of more peaceful. So if they're going to do stuff like that, I want to hear songs like this. 
So if anybody remembers what the soundtrack is from, shoutouts to them. <laughs> Otherwise, we could give a soundtrack hints for people that might want to guess. I will give a hint. It is a game we have played on stream before. Go to uh, block two. Super Ninja Baseball Batman? No, it is not that one. See, I could give a hint targeted to Chris. Oh, there we go. Yoshi has arrived. Suikoden of some kind is a very good guess. You're much closer with that one. It is not an Etrian Odyssey. See, I, I, I just have to say a single character name, and I know Chris would guess it. But he's on the right track. Sorry, Barbles. I wanted to murder you. <laughs> See, for Chris, his hint would just be num new. <laughs> that would be it. No other hints. He'll figure it out. Go through here. Get one of these. Kill these. Oh, you can heal if you want. Yeah, see, he misses them new. No, it's not Chrono Trigger. It is Tear Krios. Actually, I'm not sure if Dango is gonna Dark Flow. I spoke and then I was like, maybe Dango will Dark Flow, but he is time to Berserk. I don't think it matters. For me, I don't care. <laughs> I should have clarified. Yeah, this has probably my favorite overworld music in most of the games that we played on stream. As I said before, the evolution of the overworld as it slowly becomes replaced, I think is really cool. And I like it in the five stages. I don't hear a lot of games that do that normally. Like, sometimes they'll have, like, a before and after, but it it actually has, like, five... I think it's four or five versions of the song. So you get to experience the evolution. As it goes from kind of, like, whimsical journey to, like... Mankind's last hope is the best way to describe how the theme goes. And even though it plays a lot of the same notes, the tempo is different, and... It shares some of the motifs, but you hear it become more dramatic as it goes further in. Versus, like, people on a pleasant journey through the countryside kind of thing. I always thought that was one of the coolest parts of the soundtrack. Mill Lily. Do it in here. Stupid Mill Lily. Heavenly power acquired. I think he would have been having a field day if he was in this game. I'm gonna clear out that wave. I'm gonna move forward. How badly do I want a heavenly power? Not really. Thank you for clearing it. I need that bronze badge. I will assist you with a brief freeze trap. Okay, I'm gonna slime Duke. Other people could take the run seriously. I just want badges and XP. One, two, three. We're already dead.
Like, you can already hear the motif from the first song playing in this one. Ah, oh, this should suffice. Oh man, I didn't get invincibility? That blows. I got rested. Oh, the uh, striker mag healed me. I was wondering what happened there. Goodbye, boss. No worries. I I I'm not using Dark Flow. I feel bad for Dango. <laughs> for me, I'm like, nah. I don't care. For me, it just saves me a healing item. I've learned to basically do this run without Dark Flow low and I don't actually think I need it at any point. There's like one part of the run it might speed up, but everything else is like, nah, okay. There we go. Look at all those free kills. Thank you, Confused Trout. So our only goal is to not be first in this room, so if I have to, I will go on a cannabin killing spree. I don't mind assisting people getting into this room, but I never want to go first into this room. I'm going to be the one that kills Sinnoh Red. Hopefully Confuse will get me a couple kills there. Nice, it did. So my goal is... Oh, that's too early. The goal is to wait for their visual... Like, you have to literally look for their model to load in. When you see their model load in, that's how you know you're good. For people that want to do what I was doing on stream earlier, like, literally wait for the visual. If it's not the spawn animation, it's physically seeing his... I usually look for his leg. When his leg is spawned, I just put the freeze trap down and kill him. Each him what up. So that would, that would be my handy guide. So that way you never have to trap shoot that again. Damn silver badge. I'll go back for that. Look at me juking the lasers. Get off of me. Alright, we're gonna assume probably Chris will stumble. I'll assist maybe with Twin Blaze. Or actually, Ramoral could. I don't really care. Whoever's closer. I'll slow it down a little with Twin Blaze here, regardless. My fireball does so little damage, and it's based off of my ATP, so it's all good. But I, I see the trend. I like the, the Twitch name, Pasta Punk, playing as Nochi. Are all your characters named after pastas? It's not something I usually eat. Go this way. Oh, off by 25. Oh, that's such a heartbreaker. We need to level more. So, here, so if I had 50 more ATP, I don't think I would miss that by 25, especially on a charge shot. I could kill them just for the lava cannon chance. 
guess. I'm waiting for people anyway. Okay, I'm out of here. Say, what can I say? I'm not Italian. Get rid of these. Shoot that. Rip the team. Oh, I got hit using the moons. That sucks. Mini game failed. Kind of reminds me when I see things like in Greek too, gyro versus hero. Just one of those things. If I don't order it, I don't know how to say it. That was a little scary. I missed my last charge shot. Dango slamming the sword down. Dango means serious business. Hmm, didn't get a lot of damage in there. Should have switched weapons. Still chipped it out pretty good. There we go. I need something more with more energy. Like, th this has me a lot more awake than Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur was just kind of drone in. I'm gonna call it out for what it was. It really was. Out of here. I'm a ghost. It's not the worst soundtrack we've put on before. <laughs> that, that will always go to some of those older NES games. Oh my gosh. Like the Donkey Kong Jr. soundtrack. That one was actually horrendous. Or the Simpsons vs. the Space Mutants soundtrack. That one was also ghastly. You could tell the budget went to the theme song and nothing else. Okay. So we could do at least, let's say, four more? Our team damage is pretty good. I think if I had actually landed the Gatling gun there, it probably would have died on that cycle. This character is about to level again. I'm only one level away, essentially, from having Red Ring equipped. And this character is already one of my favorites. Just <laughs> Peruti on loop. You know what's sad? The YouTube version is like more listenable than the one that's in the game. I can't find the one that actually plays in the game. Like I heard it and I'm like, that's not the version of the song that we heard. It's like more tolerable. <laughs> I'm like, I need burr, 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 burr. Like I just, like, <laughs> I need more of that. <laughs> that song was pretty bad. Oh, oops, my bad. 
I don't know why I made a game. Have it. No, I don't want to do Sky ID. Lord Dango host the game. I got excited to level. So close, chat. One more TTF. 179, and then after that, maybe only as little as 3. Depending on how much XP we get from this. Stay in Pasta Punk. Uh, the last person had to had to leave. So you're welcome to stay for TTFs. I'll leave it up to Chris's discretion if he wants to level a different character. But at least we'd waited a little bit. Could you imagine if we did the thing where we tried power leveling and and uh Hell's Clock Challenge, and then we got the XP bonus just now. How awkward that would have been. Glad we did not do that today. Yeah, goodbye. That confuse should last a while. I think that'll give us a kill with the way I did it. Yes, got a kill. Still dragon. Let's see if we get the damage glitch here. Took out a little bit. We took like 800 extra. And then it got slapped by the death sword and it died. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Riveting tales for Still Dragon. Hopefully this is correct. Oh, I was actually so close. Wow. That was such a good blind movement towards it. Legit only three steps away from where I wanted to walk. Look at that. I got in here so early. Speaking of upgrade on the overworld theme. Oh, slimes. I want to dupe you so bad. Going to the other side. That's annoying. I don't want to kill it, but it's like really close to the kill box. Okay, there we go. Slime is ultra dead. That should be enough. We'll help, we'll help out of courtesy, so I can move on. <laughs> there we go. Time to dupe as they do that room. Ooh, Egotron spawning lots of slimes. I think we can help with that. One, two, three, kaboom time. Goodbye, slime. Look at that, everybody has a roll. Damn, I'm even here to telepipe. Look at that efficiency. We cleaned that room up so well.
Oh, Chris probably picking up some items. Downside of uh, badges and other materials. Sometimes you gotta go out of your way to pick them up. Oh, I'm at, I think it invincibility again. Game, please. Wow, that boss was so dead. Holy. I think it took 8k in about 1.1 seconds. Goodbye. I will gladly take that money. Nice photon draw. Get out of here, Sinnoh Red. That's cleaning up the rest. That's fine. I'll advance the room. As I said before, I don't want to be first in the door. I'll kill these in the meantime. Trap down, and now I should be ready. Maybe I'll get a free kill. We're gonna wait for the visual. We're gonna wait, we're gonna wait, and now. Got him. That is not what I wanted to do. That kind of sucks. I was trying to confuse Trap and I dimated since they're on a similar button. Unfortunate. There we go. Nice and cleaned up for the team. Interesting, I'm on this side now. Should level me, and I'll be super close. Glad chance liking the music. I think most of the Suicune Inch soundtracks are really good. I might like Fives a little more, but tier for a spin-off game on the DS, the soundtrack is just super, super good. Ruby Bullet, get out of here. When I hear this song, it almost reminds me a little bit of some of the Tales themes. Ooh, spawned early. That was scary. Yeah, they spawned early. Awkward, but that's fine. There we go, we killed our way through.
hear him. They do so much damage to each other. Are you watching that health bar? Okay, two free kills. <laughs> There we go. Is that a monolith? <laughs> Chris is like, hold on, I gotta type. Imperimeter was keeping it alive. He was doing a lot of the monolith calls while you're away. It's like, I almost want to just keep playing just to hear more of the soundtrack, to <laughs> be real with you, chat. I don't mind staying up a little bit for it. I want to get to the Overworld Theme 4, which doesn't have, like, a unique name or anything, but man, that song is in my head forever. Uh, I can take some pop shots here and there. to be careful here since I think we missed a few. Here we go. Yeah, even though I did enjoy Tyrkreus, it's not quite as quotable as the uh, Woven Web of Centuries from Udana. That had, like, mind-bogglingly dumb plot. Like, it was like, I still cannot believe bathtubs is an actual plot point. I know, it's not Terra's Farm of Udana. Like, I could almost picture the song in, like, a phoenix, right? At least he gave us Dumnu and his love for humans, it's true. Yeah. I think its only real problem was that it just had, like, too many ds fide mechanics, I guess is the best way to put it. It, it definitely wanted you to use, like, the Wi-Fi, for example. And then, like, some of the fetch quest kind of stuff was kind of not needed at all. I didn't mind it as, like, supplemental stuff, but for required, that was a little silly. If I hold still, I should outregen the grants. I'm out of kill range. Die. So one million experience chat, and I will finally have red ring. So close. I see whole place the Terrace Farmer Evil Man at the end summon more in blue dots as Terrace Farmer like a question, I know. Oh, oh no! Who would have thought the bad guy that summons Terrace Pharma would summon Terrace Pharma? It's like, come on, dude. What have you been doing the whole game? Give me a break. <laughs> but never forget, chat. Are those boats bathtubs? Apparently, the, the art of boat making also included canoes, kayaks, and anything vaguely floating. I don't know how they survived where they were. Yeah, Blue Donna's given up. See? He's bowing out. <laughs> Blue Donna, shamed forever.
So we'll do at least two more. The tier case thing is long. I'm not sure where the song I want is in this list. It could even literally be the last song, to be honest. You start a surprise Terrace for me. They're, they're a surprise every time. You do smell at CTF, Tiggy. I keep making a game, my bad. Habits. I just want to level so bad. I was gonna say, congratulations, Tiggy, on this Incesta. I was gonna. Yeah, there we go. Pasta Punk is now with us. I was gonna say I remember when. <laughs> I was gonna say I remember when Dangotron was uh below eighty. Okay, we definitely want to put more confused traps down for free kills. I just say it's an actual tragedy at how many mill lilies we have seen, and yet we've not seen a single dwarf on a clear. Actual tragedy, Chan. Where is dwarf on a clear? doing TTF at least for another three or so runs. If you were interested, Tiggy, you could probably hop in at one point. Oops, I'm holding a direction until the end. Slime is traveling. Look at it go. Should be enough to do. Yeah, there we go. That was not a freeze trap. That was effective. Unfortunate. Oh well. I gotta leave. <laughs> it's not worth redoing that room if I don't get it. Do some drive-by freeze traps. We got other things to do. I hope this is where the uh, badge was. Okay, good. Pipe is down. Oh, I was gonna say Chris could have taken the warp there. Oh well.
There we go, get that bronze badge. Uh, I'll help Chris out, I guess, as he's getting chased. Run, Chris, run. Wow, he could still kill without buffs, that's crazy. There we go. Yeah, I would kill for that gold badge too. I don't blame you. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, gold badge, that makes sense. You you would kill for that. That's like giving up a PD. They're in the way, you murder them. There we go, there's my invincibility. About time. Nice sword slice. 3 XP, yeah. <laughs> what were we even zoomed in on there? Like, look at the boss die. There's like a close up of someone's butt. <laughs> this one is special. It is definitely special. Weekend at 5 was also good, but I think it does take a, a, a while to get out of the intro. I I would be open to playing specifically Weekend at 5 again. Although, I think if we do the war games, I think I don't bother 100%ing. I'll be real with you. That was definitely my least favorite part of the game. No contest. Plus, this time we can save the nobleman that nobody liked. Don't you want him as your final character instead of a refsh? Oh, the jail cell was uh, four. Four was a disaster. Four just felt unfinished. I, I don't think it was like a bad game per se, but it definitely just gave the sense that there was supposed to be more and there just wasn't. If, wait a minute, this is a jail wasn't so deep in the game, I would make it an April Fool's run. That cutscene is so dumb. Although, I, I guess maybe if you skip every side character, maybe it's actually not that deep in the game? Hmm. Now that I think about it, maybe? <laughs> this is a jail speedrun? That was a, that was a truly special cutscene. I like that we can even visit it beforehand. Just, we still walk into it anyway. Truly uh, geniuses behind some of this weekend and cast. Oh, VP2's ring. That, that was like a comedy of errors. I don't know if they meant that to be funny, but that was really funny. <laughs> Quick, throw away the only thing that's keeping us alive. Oh wait, that was really dumb. Maybe we shouldn't have done that? Guess we'll die. Classic VP2. That game was a mess. I still remember my hands are stinging. I'm like, wow. <laughs> How to make me not interested in a character in uh, one line of dialogue. It gave a lot of memories. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's possible to get it again. I don't know how to hack the, the PS2 version enough to get the voice clips in. Goodbye, bot. Nice and simple. Oh damn, I'm not the first person in the room. I can't do my normal strat. Uh, oh, I'm dead. 
Uh, as soon as I dropped my normal combo, I was like, yeah, I felt I mispressed. That wasn't the game's fault, that was my fault. I pressed the uh, Charge Vulcan normal a little too soon. That's why I died. No, it's disgusting. Still gonna kill this thing. <laughs> At the same pace as the rock has. <laughs> what a character. There we go. Why don't you have a nice little confused battle with your friends? Damn, that was almost every single Del D that died. Kinda funny. Close, but not quite. Pokemon Oleth, oh no. tricky pattern to get through. Unfortunately, they still closed me out in the end, but there's a lot of heat seekers. Say they they must uh really like the wrong oral. Wait for me. I'm scared that it's going to rotate as I do this, and I'm going to be out of position. I'm just going to quit my Vulcan. Is that a monolith? Is Demon Vulcan any good? No, unless it's from challenge weapons. I like my slingshot bullets were like coming from like way out in the field to snipe for that last bit of HP. Thank you, Charge Vulcan. Might be able to. Yes. Did I just, like, not move at the start, or was that faster than normal? I got, like, literally only one attack out, and then it moved. That was unfortunate. Like, I did touch the music, but I didn't think it was, like, that deep into the music. Unfortunate. Nice. Somebody just revived me. Double ghosts. Eight thousand experience, not bad. So I'm within almost three TTFs. Thank you for the games, Pasta Punk. Hopefully you get some rest. So Tiggy, if you'd like to hop in for... Well, we'll say three TTFs. I, I want to get to potentially wearing that red ring tonight. If that requires a joke, Phantasmal World 4 to level, that's fine. 
and I can finally put away this S parts. Oops, start the next one without Tiggy. Okay. I well, if there's anybody else that wants to do some TTF. We have a free slot for three more runs. from there. <laughs> I was just thinking of uh, when we renamed one of the characters Roadkill from uh, Tear Creus. Lock to Browns has found Ren Ring. Oh. Close. Welcome, Remote Battery. Almost. It was even in our block. Even I wasn't ready for that to kill in one bounce. That's insane. That bronze bat. So basically, the Hue cast game changers: Charge Vulcan with 50 hit, LNK Combat with 30 hit. I don't even bother with any other weapon. Question <laughs> mark. They're both so good, it just doesn't matter. I guess this got Rayman 13 for some rooms, but not all rooms. Useful in Bolt Up. That's fine. The smaller gap to go into, I guess. I I'd rather hit the wall than end up in the boxes. timing works. Finish those up. And I like that our team is so strong now that we're just legitimately handling every room while we wait. <laughs> like we're just like, yeah, we can now kill the slimes. Three. Even speed up Dango's shooting. Look at that. Teamwork. 
to buy slimes. That's pretty fast. We're probably gonna have to fight our way out of here. The free strap down preemptively. Oh. Never mind. Hoping Chris gets a red ring. This character has been craving one for a while. Aww. Oh, we're seeing Rock Spot. Maybe that's what the zoom in was last time. Grab that money and ran. <laughs> Rock's booty shot, it pretty much was. Ooh, that's Allura is gonna be nasty. Look how fast they died. I should have picked up that money. That was a mistake. Oh well, no looking back. There's only forwards. Rip Dango Tron. My healing's a little on the lackluster side. Might have to restock later. There we go. Look at them fight to the death. Look at those free kills. Not yet, Dango. We're, we're almost there. You'll soon be free. We'll put you in the final room. Here you go. Sadly, that'll be my last telepipe, so I have to go back to the shop anyway. He didn't miss much. Much it was like ten kills. Uh oh. Looks like the monitor got hit there. Spots up. You thought you were free to move to a new monitor, but it was I, Gafoe. just got melted. Burning bullets. Eh, I need a ruby bullet with burning. Thank you, Barkey. Uh, I can't talk today. Thank you, Barkey, for subscribing. Hope you'll be, you are doing well. My mouth is like, mmm, you need to hydrate more. Got the cotton mill. We are just wrapping up a little event stuff here. Is 
Make a nice big drink once I'm done with this room. up when I did the power attack. I should have normal attacked. Oh well. Is that a monolith? Yeah, overall, uh... I guess... Things are oh, also, I meant to say, for uh, people that don't know when it comes to using Dark Flow, usually it's just kind of assumed if you heal at the beginning, it's not a big deal uh, for Olga Flow, or not Olga Flow, I can talk, Dark Falls, because there's such a long walk to get to the altar anyway that anybody that accidentally gets healed can just drain anyway. It's usually not that big of a deal. I think it only matters if they are in a good position to reach the altar. So if they are player one that does it, it usually doesn't matter, because player one usually will not beat anybody there. Fun fact. Get rid of these. Angotron. Tonight started with a V502 and then just straight up nothing for most people. I don't even think we got any crazy drops in general. A little disappointing. Cool. One shot away from killing. You're dead this turn. Now I can disrespectfully fall over mid cutscene. <laughs> That'll teach falls. There we go. That was some good damage we just got in. See, when the boss gets down to. Oh, that's really bad for falls. This is gonna be so much damage. Ooh. Actually dead. <laughs> Poor choice. I'm like, ooh, ooh, false. Come to me. I got a Vulcan. I, that does so much more than my LNK. Ha, dead already? Yeah, if my LNK had more dark percentage, then it would be up in the air. But it, it's good enough. That was a fast kill. That last phase did not stand a chance. with the goat icon. Nice. Nothing weird is going on with your controller. Oh no, Dango. Uh-oh. Stuck button. It says 530 players online. Seriously? Wow. That is a lot. I think I think, is that a record? Maybe. I have seen it in like the 440s before. I don't think I've seen it in the 500s. <laughs> I was gonna say 500 players. 10 of them doing anniversary event. 200 doing TTF. I think that would be a more accurate breakdown. Oh, did it hit 600 the first week? Interesting. I can't say I noticed when I logged in if it was that high. Thank you. 
Yeah, I think I chat plays a lot more than me though, to be fair. I legit barely touch it outside of stream, if at all. <laughs> Chris debating life as old man just doesn't want to give it the S rank ever. I mean, there is a death that time, so I understand that one. But some of the other ones, I'm like, listen, we got so many kills. Did it so fast, it didn't matter. I think I'm willing to do two more, and that's my hard stop. So that way I can say we went for L and K plus more shenanigans. Sadly, I don't think we're gonna hear the song that I'm looking for. It's very deep in the playlist. 23 ATP from being a level 200 humor. Oof. So we have a free slot for anybody that wants to hop in. await you. Join us, Tiggy. You can bring your four? Sure. I was gonna say, I would offer to switch, but I legit want to do this one. I want this character to get so close to 180. It's the only thing I've been looking forward to since he's gotten the red ring. Exactly. Angry stop for not being level 180. 1664. See, so yeah, if I can swap out one of my Centurions, I could probably get up to 1600 ATP. Nah, uh, Chris, Chris hasn't played. Chris is offering to swap out. Chris has played the least. I think out of almost everybody playing. Other than maybe Pasta Punk. Everybody else has had a lot of games. What's a red ring? He's gonna say, oh no, we're on par with Cookie Quest XP. What... New mop up Operation 3 must be really broken. So we're probably gonna do a couple of character rushes just as a gimmick at the end of the event. That's how our first uh, power leveling of force started. If you double check that video, it was at 300% XP. That was before how I knew to- oh, I forgot to confuse trap there. That's before I knew how to do the better runs. It's definitely evolved since then, pretty heavily. Yeah, I think when I did that run, I don't even think I had an ignition cloak. Or no, I didn't have a Gafoe merge. Respectfully, and techniques on it. Asserting dominance. Goodbye. I hope this is the right direction. I didn't get a good look at my character. I might have moved too sideways. I wasn't that far off. I actually was not that far off. So far, I have yet to see anything drop for me for dragons, so I'm like, yeah. A good call. I think only once so far in like 20 TTFs has it been like a badge. Ooh, that almost killed me. That would that would have been the embarrassing death to Lone Slime.
I had done that slightly too soon. Oh, just barely. Okay, that's done. Um... Oh, nice. There's even slime do bang happening already. Hmm. Just to clean that up. Nice. Invincibility again. Where is my synchro? Oh, it's zero. That would explain it. Gotta go fix that later. I'm like, I feel like if I had better synchro, I would have had it proc by now. I'll have to go fix that. When I get the chance, I'm gonna just spam soul atomizers in it. Falls, I think, unfortunately, is what hold it down. Oh, LNK, but no hit. Disappointing. I would have also taken dark percentage. It has, does not have that. Uh, I'll feed it stars. Dangotron. Sniped by the turret. Yeah, I think somebody went too far to the side, so just shot at him. Dango was the victim there. Okay, enough messing around. Time to end this run. Lucky there, I missed another truck shot. Uh, I'm kind of in my way. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm just like, I just kind of went in there. I'm like, man, they just all three of them were in that doorway. How annoying. down to Chris the Sunlock. Good luck, Chris. I'll try to assist with Twin Blaze. Ooh, and you're on the opposite side, too. That's kind of annoying. Not ideal. How did I die? Holy, how much damage did I take just then? Chat, what was that? Did I take 1100 damage? What was that? And again. <laughs> Demo will not be pleased. Yeah. 
Damn, I must have gotten multi-hit by a freeze or something. That was insane. Like, the damage I took would have killed most, like, 160 plus rangers. If not, like, near max forces. And what that damage was. damage was. So sad. I think it was looking for Tiggy. It's unfortunate. Oh no, no, it was looking for Chris. He's the ranger. I was gonna say, was it force hate? No, it was ranger hate. Sorcerers really don't like rangers. I was gonna say another evolution of the overworld theme. Ooh, barely dodged that, but we'll take it. I'm not gonna lie, I almost let Dango Gira sold himself out of existence. Just went blip. I wanna try that one day. Do the uh that one fast strat where you purposely die during the whole up cutscene. You can murder it as it spawns in. That looks so fun. And I'll have to get another, what is it called, a Beardish? I don't know what it's called. Uh, the Spear where if you use its attack, it stacks damage. It's like super, it's like almost nobody does runs for it unless it rolls well. I don't know many people that use it. I kind of want to try it on that boss battle. Where it's just a big target where I can't really possibly miss it. Just to see if it could just one shot the boss. Oh no, more castle themes. I'm not gonna lie, the castle themes are usually the worst part of every single in town track. possible for me. That's upsetting. Speaking of which... There we go. Glad we didn't have to get through another attack. I was gonna say, I'm gonna veto the castle theme. I've heard enough of it. There we go. More jaunty tune. What the? It. Am I not loading in fast enough or something? It's kind of unfair. I didn't even get to position that time. Like, I took a step forward and then it was already moving. It's kind of BS.
Oh well, boss is dead either way. Check the box. A 55 hit caliber. Probably not worth it, but I'll pick it up. I'm gonna get rid of this LNK because it's literally useless to everybody. That's kind of sad. It could have been good. This might go on the wall of shame. This is for Tiggy. Take your head, Tiggy. shame. If only you rolled just a little better. I know. It's just like, come on. What the heck is this? It's sad because it's like, it's almost good, but it's just not. I'll put it in there as a memento. I don't plan on using it though. Okay, so I think with all the bonus kills that we've been getting, I think I actually will level in the next TTF. That'll be fun. Yeah, yeah, principal disappointment as usual. One more. And I will finally be able to use Red Ring. It would be funny if I did get another Red Ring. We'll have to give it to Chris at this point. Honestly, the Hughcast ATP is so high, I might even just make him over a, a Rockcast at this point. Although I do like Rangers for specific quests. And the damage is so good. TTF for the session. That's pretty good. I think between the two, we basically played a little over nine hours. So we still had some pretty long sessions overall. Let Tiki kill those. It is Viridian, so there is a point to killing them. If you want the heart items, you have to kill the first group, I think. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I saw that, and I'm like, no, that's not gonna kill him. I will definitely blame being tired there. I don't know why I thought that would kill him. Then I looked at his health, I'm like, 1500 is less than 2400. He will live. Oh well. Yeah, this current LNK with 30 hit, 20 dark. Super solid versus falls. I still prefer charged Vulcan, but this is still a really good alternative when I can't get multi hits. Kind of. <laughs> See, Dango is doing the same philosophy.
There we go. We're definitely making sure we get every kill possible here. Mouse off the screen. Trap for Chris. Your own. Four slimes. Do you cast bombing them? Messed up. Star Animizer. Let's do that again. Moment. There we go. How did that- Oh, maybe because I never let go of movement. Oh, interesting. So if I don't let go of movement, it just gets really weird. So I held right, but it made me go to the left there. But I, I guess it's because I didn't release the stick that it didn't guide me properly. Dangotron. Wow, Dango already 140. Nasty. We should just murder each other. I think we have to do anything. Seriously, Silver Bench. There we go. There we go. Want that level up so bad. Oh my gosh, I'm not being targeted? Whoa. The power of not being player one anymore. Did it.
So I just need to gain 74,000 experience. I think Falls gives 80,000 by himself. I think I'm good here. <laughs> I was gonna say, I just... Ouch. I just stuck near Chris because I had a feeling they were gonna try to bully me. First thing that happens is he shoots, or if the sorcerer was still alive, the sorcerer aims for Chris. I'm so glad I last second healed. To buy that bronze badge, I'm not going back for you. You're too deep in the run. Alright, so sadly no lava skin in. I think we had like about maybe 60-ish chances at it. We killed a lot of sorcerers, but then we also did uh, two different quests that had lava skin in. I think it was 13 Sinnohs. We did four atrocities for him, I think. Fireball's gonna take care of everything over here, and that's fine. Ooh, unlucky. Transition just as I was moving by. So far away, yeah. That's not worth going for as a hunter, because I'm going to be so out of position. There we go. I shot it with my Vulcan to save myself some time. I guess if I'm feeling confident that it's over, I do something like this. Yeah, see, I'm still whipping the uh, charge shots. Hopefully find more accuracy will put it a little closer to accurate. Like maybe 8 or 9% more, so it's like a 60%. We got a couple hits on the boss. I'm probably gonna take a million damage here. Oh, it didn't ricochet on me. Boss. Spinner trolling me. By dark falls. Yeah, sadly, if that was like a high dark LNK that I picked up earlier, I probably would have kept it for the Hugh Casil. Since it's like she is 20 to 30 hit on the Hugh cast anyway. Okay, this time I was able to get multiple attacks. That's what I was looking for last time. Damn, also went full screen on me. That sucks. Still kill them though. Thank you, LNK Combat. <laughs> Dead already? I just think we still haven't achieved the Hugh Cast's final form. It's a moment of truth. Will somebody get Red Ring? I will go equip my Red Ring. Let's go. Give me that level up. Nice. Level ups everywhere. I got excited for a moment because I saw red text and I was like, it's bronze badge. <laughs> of course it's bronze badge. Definitely gonna pop these boxes. There we go. Well, thank you everybody for playing. I'm curious about testing this red ring out, how much damage, like what kind of runs can I expect, what kind of damage output will I get? I'm at 1004 defense at the moment, how much of a difference will this make?
Oh. I actually do need another red ring for him. That's unfortunate. I could take it off of the other character. Hmm. So that so I was correct. I was down I had one less red ring than I thought I had. Because I put it on the force earlier, if you remember. So I need one so I need another one for this character, actually. Well, I guess the grind continues. I'll probably go take it off of him later. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Let's restock so I don't have to do that later. Oh well. So we still have three potential red rings to go. Synchro a little bit. Yeah, I don't think I accidentally put it in his main bag. I guess it's worth checking. Nope. Okay. So I think. Do this at least. Did he gain enough accuracy for me to do this? Did not. Oh, so close. So he needs one more level up with ATA in order for me to at least use Heavenly. Unfortunate. Oh well, we'll get some red rings later. Let's hand in the quest. There you go, chat. Needs more red ring. Yeah, I'd rather take it off of one of the forces where it's nice to have it. And instead put it on this character. I think it just makes more sense. Since I don't use a lot of my high level forces for that purpose. Like the Faux Moral will keep hers, but one of my two Faux Newmans probably can give it up. But anyway, chat. Uh, I guess overall, sadly no red rings. Saw some okay drops throughout. V502 is a nice pickup. So I basically went from one spare V501 and one V502 to doubling it. So, it's nice that at least I have more options, and hopefully there'll be like a full-time hell character. That'll be nice. But I think otherwise, chat, I don't really have anything else to add. So I think we're gonna say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching, and hope to see you again next time.